Um, I'm surprised we ain't had a J Hassan um NSG rhythm. <gasps> they did have one like back in the day, on, like on the fifteenth yeah, day, but yeah, that yeah. NSG, that one NSG sound that, that they have mean. now, like you know what I mean? It was, it was mad aggressive, innit? Yeah, I remember. It was different. It was different. Yeah. I feel like. J Hustle. Yeah, 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 I remember that. I feel like, yeah, forget a hater, I think that was the yeah, song. Forget yeah, forget a hater. Yeah. Mm. I feel like J Hustle and NSG and J5. Like, how's it not happened? What? Like, how's it not happened? What? <laughs> like, literally, how's it not happened? Like, it's mad to me, but. Yeah, I feel Damn. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I never. Bro, that's crazy, because you know what I would have thought with J Hustle's album now? I thought it would have been more of that feel good kind of sound. And something like that, that kind of collab. Yeah, come. yeah, yeah. But nah, I, I rate what Hosted with this album though. Mm. Like his features were all you can tell they were handpicked by him. No, the label had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Like, if you could pick two Afro Swing artists from like 2015, 2019 mm. to come back today and and actually like just make an impact, hit the scene, like two separate artists bring solos. Who would those two artists be, bro? Ooh, that not current. Jay Silver. I'm trying to think. What song did he did he see me now? See me now. How does it go? That one, isn't it? Oh, that yeah. guy was. <laughs> that guy was. He was ahead of his time. Ahead of his time, bro. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I knew you were talking about. So he had this nice. I think Montclair one jacket, bro. I used to think, what? <laughs> yeah. I only just heard him. Um, no cap, just last year. I'm thinking, wait, why did I not know about this guy yeah, like that? Jay I feel like you definitely knew that tune though. That tune was. Yeah. Cool. Like one of the biggest battles I've had, yeah, believe it or not, is the transition of becoming a content creator. Yeah. When people know you for being a musician, so, mm. are they gonna take me seriously? Like, uh, are people gonna think I fell off? Like, do you know, like I'm, yeah. I've got all these things in my mind, innit? Like, I'm like, yeah. do I just pack it all up and just work. learn a trade and just work? Like, do mm. I just, like, what do I do in it? Like, I'm just yeah. literally constantly battling with myself of who it is. I'm being in it, like see, like with me as well. Like I'm the kind of person. See that if I'm away from all of this, yeah. Like say, like bro, once the cameras are off, like it's coming by my government. Like don't even, like yeah. I like being yeah. myself sometimes, yeah. you know. Like feel mm. like sometimes I want to separate telly from like my real yeah, world, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yo, we're here again, and we've got another guest. Come on. But this guest, he ain't a regular. <laughs> He's a man of many talents. Yeah, Serious yeah. talent. <laughs> many eggs in a bowl. Mm, hey, real. we've got the man Telly himself, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Come on, G. Bro. Thanks for coming on the pod, bro. Yeah, man, cool, Come man. on, brother. We Good got to be here still. Overdue, man. It's overdue, but Come legit, on. I think we first spoke for like March times, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, about that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. And legit, what I like about Telly, <laughs> He's not just a content creator. He's mm. not just a rapper. He's not just a personality. He's also an A and R. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm. about four different things. <laughs> bro, serious, serious talent. Oh, right, yeah, man. Bro, just, just I, working, bro. Just working. I respect it, man. For real, man. We've been seeing you on cool socials. Yeah. Uh, I've seen you working. Made you think. think yeah, 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 yeah. Serious music business, man. I respect yeah, it, bro. Yeah, but we have got to take it back from the beginning, like we always do, of course. So of course, man, we have got to take it back, bro. Like, where, where are you born, bro? I was born in the UK, um, born okay. in Redbridge, to be exact, oh, yeah. Wow. Damn. Born in Redbridge, um, grew up in Rush Green, you had a Rush Green? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. I was born near there as well, like Hornchurch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, in between Dagnam and Romford, innit? Oh, okay. And, yeah, went to school in Dagnam. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah man. Okay, then, what, then you moved to Dagnam at some point? I've never actually lived in Dagnam, that's a oh, funny thing. I thought you were <laughs> you from Oxford, yeah. I thought you lived there, really? No, I've never, I went to school there. So oh, okay. All my friends... But from Dagnum, so oh, okay. So you thought might as well go to school, innit? Like, I went to school. Like, you know what? My, like, the friends I went, I grew up with on my estate that I went primary school with, and like, mm. they went, they all went to schools in Romford. Oh, so But okay. one of my older cousins went Robert Clack. Oh, so okay. I was like, I'm going there. Like, that's the only school that I knew of, and I was like, oh, I'm not chancing all these other schools. My mom's like, Fair. Oh, like, all your friends are going over there. Nah, nah, nah. I want to go there. Like, went there. Not many people from my school went there, and then I just. That's how, it, that's how it started, didn't it? Become a Dagnum yeah, boy yeah. like that. Like, but, <laughs> but yeah, I've yeah. never lived in Dagnum. It's, it's, right, right. it's a mad story. Well, so you've always been Rush Green. Yeah, Rush Green's where I grew up. Oh, and then, um, yeah. yeah, then, yeah. So even Rush Green, like, because I can't lie, I don't even know much people from there like that. No, it's a small area, bro. Yeah. very small. So what, what's it like there? Like, what's the vibe like, bro? <laughs> like, you know what? It's the cool Rush Green, my safe haven, like, because um, 
Dagnum is where it was a bit scatty with all mm. the madness yeah. was more than yeah. scatty yeah. <laughs> it was a bit do you know what I mean like so yeah. that's where everything will go off and then Rush Green was just a quiet I don't know what it's like now I moved there a while ago from um, there from moved from there a while ago but yeah. um, when I was growing up there like it was just a calm area isn't it like a lot of um Greenery, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay. old people walking their dogs and that. Like, there was a college there, Barking and Dagdon College was yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. So, yeah, other than that, it was just a calm little quiet area, man, really. Oh, okay. like, just, yeah, man. And then, what about any siblings or anything like that, bro? Yeah, yeah, I got a big family, bro. Like, how many, how many siblings? <laughs> 13 siblings. Oh, oh God. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Daddy was at work. No, bro, 13 <laughs> siblings. Too. Obviously, a couple half, like, half siblings, but. Oh, like, okay. nah, to me, it's but to me, well, that's family. family. That's my siblings. I see you you know what I mean? Yeah, but that's, that's, my, that's my siblings. I know all of them, you know what I mean? So, Damn. yeah, like, you get me? 13. Well, that's yeah, George's number on, his, on the back of his jersey, bro. <laughs> Damn, yeah, bro. Okay, so what? Was it always a loud, busy house then? Yeah, my mum's house was. Oh, okay. Like, um, so, like, the way it works. My mum's side of the family, um, I'm like the second youngest. Oh, so okay. My, so I got had lot, like older brothers, older sisters, and that. But then on my dad's side of the family, I'm the second eldest. Oh okay. damn! So you live in two different lives. Yeah. So mm. in my in my mum's household, I'm like the youngest, one of the like babies yeah. or whatever. Then in my dad's household, I'm one of the oldest. Oldest. Hey. Like, that's just that has to be guy. patterned in everyone. Like so, but um, yeah, no, yeah, it was, you know, I got loads of sisters. I got seven sisters. So wow. That's how. That's where the chaos was, isn't it? That girls was bickering. But bro, that's a blessing in disguise because now you had one up from time when it came to like girls behaving. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew girls were tapped from when I was like four. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think it was just my family, bro. I used bro. to think, bro, like, why is my sister so tapped? Why is my mom so tapped? Why is my auntie? Like, I'm thinking, what? And I stepped in the real world. I was like, nah, it's all of you, <laughs> bro. Nah, yeah, nah I see it from early still. Fam, okay, so all right, so in a way, the household's kind of always busy, whatever. Yeah, it happens. So now, I remember in one interview, he was actually saying how like your mom would always play music. In yeah, 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 yeah. What kind of music was it, bro? Well, she, bro, this is magic because like she played everything. Like, so she can go from Congolese music or some Congolese. So oh, you're from Congo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so okay. she can go from Congolese music to like Sugar Babes to like <laughs> Atomic Kitten. Oh yeah, Radio like, Days. Yeah, like. Yeah. Um, what's my man's name? Robbie Williams and that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. she'll just be switching up the vibes. All the time, like, that, you never know what you're li- like, listening to, innit? So, and yeah, if she weren't, if she weren't playing her CDs, the music channels were on. Like, if she weren't watching like, like her, her normal programs or whatever, it's the music channels, innit? And yeah. that's how I got, I got caught up. And I found Channel U by accident. Oh, like, bro, like, I remember just finding Channel U. Like, I was thinking, this is a bit more me. Like, this is like, this you know, is what I mean? yeah. yeah. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, like, but yeah, no, the household, yeah, musical household, man. Wow. Okay. It's cold. So even Channel U, well, when did you first discover that? Like, you remember the age you was at? Yeah, I was probably like, I think I was in year six. Damn. Yeah. I was in, it was before, because by the time I was in year seven, in year seven, I recorded my first ever song. So, ever. So, yeah, so it was probably like, yeah, five years, six, I was already That's crazy. watching Channel Even Chinese, to take bro. it back even more, like, what was the first song or introduction to music that you that got you bopping or got you thinking, yo, this sounds nice, you know? In terms of what, like, street or like... Just in general, in general. In general. Like, um, all the stuff that my mum was listening to, though, like, even like... That like, do you man, remember the um, group boy group boy band called Blue? Nah, bro. Blue, Blue, so like, yeah, yeah. It rings a bell. There was a group called Blue. Like these, like these are like pop um, bands and that, like oh. Westlife and all that. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, no, West like even S Club. I'm yeah, S Club Seven. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, yeah. oh. S Club Seven. You remember the, the Black Brother? Yeah. I used to yeah. Think, well, I was that like, me. That's me. That's yeah. me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this is one of my earliest memories of, of songwriting. Yeah, no yeah. cap. Like I was probably like yeah, about year five or something. Yeah, Damn. I'm walking to school, and I'm just thinking up of lyrics in my head. Yeah, but in my head, I've got a group boys and girls and mm. I'm singing parts of this imaginary girl she's gonna sing this Damn. then the other girl's gonna sing that then I come in with my little rappy flow and then my man's gonna like I used what? to do that walking to school and that's back normal and... you aren't thinking oh this mm. is some no, spectacular just, shit like I'm just just doing it for t- like kill time as I'm walking to school like kind Damn. of thing innit that was my early earliest memory of like wow yeah, yeah, yeah wait hold yeah. up because I remember at some point there was an S Club movie as well did you watch it I think I'm, I did, they used to have a series yeah, I used to watch yeah, the yeah, series. I remember, I remember watching the movie. Yeah, I, I can't the remember. I'll never the forget. Movie. The movie. I can't remember the movie, but I used to watch the series. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so all right, so you discovered Channel U at like eleven. I remember for me actually, I discovered it like 
early, like eight, bro. Yeah. There's yeah, my older yeah. bro in there. I can't lie. But when did you discover Johnny? You actually probably like uh, ten, eleven, bro. I'll be real. Because for me, like my sisters listen to music, but more on the like radio. But when oh, I actually yeah. saw it on the TV, I literally remember. Yeah. Uh, seeing. Dizzy Rascal. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, who's this guy? Yeah. And I was popping into it. I was like, nah, this guy's cold. Because yeah. my brother was watching, my sister was watching it. I was like, yeah. nah, I need to jump on this. I need to copy mm. them. Yeah, bro, it was just so... Well, what was your reaction, actually, when you first discovered it? Like, I was just intrigued, didn't it? But like, I just remember something as older. Obviously, my mum's playing all of that, but my older siblings... Like they're listening to like garage and that okay. as well, or like um and like dance school, school and yeah. dance school and whatnot. So like Damn. I'm listening to different types of music, and I remember when I'd hear like the garage songs and that, I felt more like this was like for me kind of thing. I don't know. And then yeah, when I've gone onto Channel U now, and I'm mm. seeing like yeah, your grandma artists and yeah. whatnot, like all, all these men with their songs and that. Yeah, I just mm. felt like I can do that. Like because mm. at first I'm looking at the S Club videos and I'm thinking, how mm. am I ever gonna? Yeah, become like group. that like how am I going to ever become like that it didn't look like achievable to me innit? whereas mm. on channel U, you just what they shot that on the road yeah, yeah. Like, like, he's just in his normal I've got that tracksuit like, do you know yeah. like, do you know what yeah. I'm thinking yeah. like, do you know what I used to love yeah, about the old school videos it looks so authentic yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah, not, yeah. it's not forced no fancy yeah, cars or nothing yeah. it's so authentic yeah. so authentic fam. and it was like it was just like beyond authentic it was just so raw. Yeah. yeah. No, like, wait, do you remember, do you guys remember the first music video you guys ever saw on Channel U? I remember it, like, just like, <sighs> yesterday. I, I don't know if it would be my first, but I got a few that in my head, like, I remember, like, Chung Fam, Adrenaline. Adrenaline. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I still, still remember that video, still. Oh, pow, 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 pow. Pow, 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 pow. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, that actually used to scare me, bro. Mm-hmm. It was like, kind of scary, right? Like, yeah, yeah, no, it was kind of scary. Like, what's this? <laughs> like, yeah, for real. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, like, yeah, it would have been one of them kind of videos. Okay, it was just like, raw, like, because you know what? For me, I remember the first video I ever saw was nah, nah, put your hands in the air. Nah, nah, nah. You know that tune, hands in the air, and it goes. I think, so. I, think I think I know. It goes, goes AJ. TTK. Well, yeah, that tune. I do. Do you remember Little Rascals? Bro, <laughs> I want to be one of the, I want it to be light skin for the day. Yeah, yeah, bro. Hey, you know this brother, you know this brother, yeah? You know this brother, yeah? Oh, you have this brother, yeah? I've been put in school. I didn't even chat to him like that, yeah? Yeah, I just yeah, seven, on, yeah, seven. yeah, seven. I just see him on the bus rapping little rascals, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. But one day I remember, oh, I promised him, I promised him that same song. Yeah. I promised him, like, yo, what, what song is this, bro? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nah, at least I like Little Rascals, man. Bro, they were, they were cool. They had something back yeah. there, because, like, these little kids were Adidas track suits, yeah, but Adidas, yeah, apparently, yeah. and they're all doing their... And yeah. then Temps, I me, mean, I want to be like Temps, bro, back nah, then. I feel you still, yeah, like, yeah, bro, yeah, for real. But well, do you remember any of their teams as well? Um, They had... um, They had On The Bus. Oh, then they had... um. Was, was they on... Was Mayu... Them? No, Mayu, Mayu was... Salo was, G, was yeah. Was, that's with um thingy as well, and it's uh yeah, Sickman, Stickman or Sickman. Sick, was it, what the word? I think oh, it was on that channel. Guy. No, no, no. Wait, what about oh, still standing? You don't want to get rushed, my yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was another you on there as well that wasn't um the oh, rascal, was it? Sickman. The white. No, no you're a sick man. The white you're talking about mayhem. May- ah, that, you're that's, you're <laughs> yeah, you're I think he still makes music now. You know, See? I'm sure. I'm sure he does. I'm, I'm sure. Even not like as of recent, maybe he might stop, but I know like. He got older and he was still making music. Still. That's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I remember um, Sick Man, that like, two years yeah, ago. That's what, yes. Yeah, that's what, yes. He was spinning in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I even yeah. done a, a challenge for one of his songs Say when I was rapping still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he was all right. I can't lie, man. Like, yeah. But those days, like, just even just talking about it now, I can feel that nostalgia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what, going on Sky, making sure your mom's not there because you think you're looking at guys <laughs> like 360. Are you, are you, you know, my mom wasn't even that mad with um, Channel U, you, you know. Oh, yeah? No, I like, know that I can think of. No, like, yeah, she, my mom, mom's like, you want to watch just gangsta? No, but she even loved the little rascals. What am I talking about? <laughs> no, big man thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was, she was cool. With, she was cool with that stuff. And you know what? I, I feel like back then, Channel U was such. It was such a like safe space for all of us youths back then. Mm-hmm. Know what I'm yeah. saying like it. It became the culture. It became yeah, yeah. more than just Channel U. It became like. Mm. That's ours. No, folks, folks. You know what I'm saying? Even N Dubs. Yeah. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Even them look like bro. Like they, they probably. Are the group that made me think a bit more musical, like so. Like when I started listening to like your chips and all, the, like obviously when you were Chipmunk back then and P Money and all these guys, yeah, mm. they were like it was just like raw, innit? it. It was just like yeah, like, 
grime in it. Like, but with me, I always had that. I want to make proper music in it. Mm. Like, so um, that's what I used to like. Tiny Temper as well. Like when Tiny Temper was doing songs like Tears. Yeah. And um, wifey rhythm and that, mm. like, yeah, they, 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 they were. He was like, you can tell he was thinking a lot about what he was doing with you these songs, innit? Not to cut you off, I think he was way ahead of his way, time. Way ahead of his time. I see him getting some stick on Twitter the other day, still, and I was thinking, allow him, like, allow him, man. He, that's um, someone put up about him having um, seven number ones. I think it was Mimi, my brother Mimi put oh, up, yeah, yeah. and um, people were just saying, oh, people don't care, car, like. They're not songs for the culture or rare, rare. But bro, he made the music that he wanted to make. Yeah, yeah. facts. And he's got seven number ones. Exactly. And and in addition to that, to be honest, I don't think Tiny was ever like street. street yeah, he like didn't that. care mm. for the streets. Like, like the, the closest he was to the street was hood economics. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, man. Like, bro. But okay, so once you really started to like delve into like the grime scene, channel you, what would you say like that became like an influence on you? Like your own self, like your behaviour. Certain things you're getting into. Yeah, of course. Well, when would you if say people that say thing? music doesn't influence their their capital, yeah, like, of, course. Like, of course it does. Like if you're listening to drill every day, you're does. gonna want to change someone. Um, <laughs> yeah, like not even necessarily <laughs> that far. Yeah, but like even like see like when you're listening, say you listen to your favorite drill artist. Yeah, just the way that they don't care, that their approaches that they don't care about life. They're very like that can make you feel feel like that about life. You've been influenced by mm, my man. Like words. not necessarily on oh, no, I'm gonna cause my man stab someone. I'm gonna yeah, stab yeah, someone. Yeah. It's just the that not having no fear in life or whatever can then make you feel like why yeah. should I have fear in life? Like we're yeah, influenced every day by by everything. So nice. when people say stuff like oh um you, you, there's no inf- like they don't influence it's, 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 it's BS it's BS it's a cop man. out still but yeah like, obviously I get what people say when they say that because it's like not everyone's gonna go out now and go stab someone yeah. but it does influence you it does make you a type of way because yeah. that, that's yeah them times there when I was listening to started listening to grab I started listening to rap when I was probably like. Yeah, nine. So mm. I, like you're 14, I think, oh yeah, 15. yeah, oh yeah. Hey, when did I hear gigs? My first rap song I heard was Gigs Jeez. Talking the Hardest. Yeah, I'll never forget that. I heard that. And I was like, raw, like, different. this is different. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, cool. And that kind of like, then I started listening to like the PYGs. Oh, yeah. All, like, all of that stuff. And do you know what I mean? And that's when I feel like I then took a turn for the. Oh, yeah. On the, on the oh, wrong road, didn't it? Like, oh, okay. You know well, what I mean? in teens. This is when you're still 13, 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, because you know what? I can't even lie. Like, going a bit more forward to that, like, when you were 16, yeah, one of your tunes, yeah, like, your last tune changed. Wait, yeah. That tune, by the way, bro, the way you broke down your story, and you got <laughs> yeah. vulnerable, like, that's the yeah, shit yeah, I yeah. love, bro. Yeah, yeah I no, swear I to God. It. But, like, legit, there's one thing you said this year. I said, it's not going to sound like how you said it. Yeah. We said, never had no sweet 16. It was kitchen nightmares and bandle dreams, phone line ringing, convo with fiends. I swear this life ain't what it seems. Yeah. Like, oh, they say, a lot of fuckies from when we were teens. Like, yeah, all these focus on with teens. Can yeah. you can you take me to that world? Because ah. from from me now hearing before, okay, siblings, you was the baby of the crib. Yeah, yeah, calm. yeah. Calm. I, I even forgot there was one other thing. I used to play, used to like like WWE as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Everyone grow up. If you didn't grow up watching WWE, then I don't know, man. Yeah. Bro, who's your favorite? I don't favorite? know. A Triple H. <sighs> John That's Cena, my guy. Man. Do you know what though? I think mean, that's a youth man thing. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, like, like I just feel like if you're if your favorite wrestler is John Cena, like, I don't know, man. Like, nah, he was a good man. Triple H, Shawn Michaels, DX, all of that, I'm all over that, bro. Like, that was, even even Edge at some point was my favorite wrestler, you know what I mean? But, but Edge was wild, didn't it? Was, <laughs> I like the wild ring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah man. Come on, come on. What's that? Yeah, like, even my mom, when she see Triple H, she's like, what, what, she'll be like, what's this hammer nonsense that, that he's doing? <laughs> yeah. well, why? Why? Bro, I wanted long hair, like, so I could, like, be that. Like, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I wait, I wait my hair all, yeah, bro. Trust me, nah, trust nah, me. But you... yeah, so what? Like, where does it turn, <sighs> bro? Like, secondary school, innit? Okay. Mm. Um, like, what do you, like, do you still remember the taste of that world? Cause you, you're saying kitchen nightmares and vandal dreams, bro. Mm. Like, yeah. That's 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 really the like, case. Not to even incriminate myself. Nah, of course, that, don't worry. We'll edit if anything, I, man. Nah, yeah, it is what it is. But um, bro, like. I, I went OT at age 14. Like, do you know what I mean? You done like, a low ski, huh? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> so like, with me, grow, like back then, I'm seeing guys that are older and like my cousins and what, whatnot, like they're living a better lavish, life than mine, lavish, isn't it? Like, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, not necessarily lavish, but it's better than what I'm living, isn't it? Oh, like, yeah. My mum's going under stress, like she's getting ill and she ain't working and all these things and da 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 and like, I'm like, if I want to be... Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And obviously the music that I'm listening to as well and whatnot. And just the and them that I grew up with, like 
you just have them years when you just turn you, you just turn into the different things in it and then you yeah, just it's a snowball effect like you become the man the, the guys start doing stuff like you mm. this older wants to drop food on this person or mm. duh, 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 can you like just even mad like mad story like okay. the when i went oh my mum thought i was at a um studio camp Oh, wow! Like, I knew she would not let me go. Is that what you said to her? Yeah, I said to her like, incredible life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said that like, because obviously at the time I was going to a youth club, and in the youth club, the guy there used to um, teach us how to like engineer in it and make beats and whatnot. Okay. So I just took that and said, "I'm doing that in another area." They're taking us away okay. for a few weeks in it, and um, it was like a week before half term, then into half term, and then I was back to go back to school in it. Like that's how I started, and then I like, come closer, and then whatever whatever in it but yeah like for, so from a young age i got involved in like that kind of stuff in it like oh, okay. obviously catching cases with the man them yeah like you know i mean we used to go to one club um called flex that used to be oh, yeah, Bosnick, that, isn't it? yeah next yeah, yeah. to the gym isn't it? yeah mm. yeah yeah where, where the gym is now yeah. that used to be like oh, okay. bro pff, mad nights nice, like stuff that crazy stuff that happened like from a young age like a lot of my friends were going to jail that like, mm. you know what i mean just could just doing loads of like crimes and that, innit? Yeah, and yeah. By sixteen, yeah, I'm juggling GCSEs. Remember, I told you before, like I stopped playing football. By, yeah. by sixteen, I didn't care for it anymore. But that's mm. because I was so caught up with just being with the man. Them like, yeah. I'm like Thursday. Oh, well, I gotta go training. Yeah, but we're on the block, man. Damn. I ain't going. Like, I'm, I'd rather chill. Mm. Start smoking weed. I started smoking weed at fifteen. Damn. I think. Damn. Yeah, f- like yeah, about fifteen is when I started smoking. You know what I mean? And yeah, just getting caught up in just dumbness, like. Damn. But then it's mad how life goes because by the time I got to like 17, yeah. I was trying to like pattern up here, try to try be legit. I got an apprenticeship at 18. Nice. But then I was still, I was like one foot in, one foot out. Like nines. That, literally. <laughs> and then end up going to jail at 19. Like, Damn. and then, but it's mad, like, yeah, I went to jail at 19 okay. at, at a time where I'm kind of on my way out. Like, mm. so why am I going to jail now? Like, yeah. I'd rather go to jail with those times before that all them cases are cool. I'm going now and I'm trying to pattern up. Like, da, 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 da. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that happened. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, man, when I came out, obviously, I'll be real, yeah. When did you come out? So you came in 19? Yeah, I've I, I I done a year and three months. Oh, so you actually so, did time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, where did you go? Months, like, what jail was it, bro? I went four different jails. So, because um, I got arrested in Wells. Damn. Yeah, yeah, it was a mad, madness. Um, got arrested in Wales. I done two jobs in Wales. I done Pentonville and Felton. Yeah. I heard about Pentonville. Yeah. I heard it because one of my boys was there for a second because yeah, yeah. he had a case at some point. Yeah. He said Pentonville is gritty, bro. It's, it's not even crazy. It's, it's gritty, bro. You have to be crazy to be normal there. That's what you said. <laughs> you know, like, I hear that still, but yeah. see with me, yeah. Yeah. The way, like, bro, anyone that was in jail, me can vouch for me as well, like. I'm I'm not this guy to be on some gang banging like I wanna yeah. beat up everyone, I'm yeah. da, 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 da. I'm just me, like I'm a clown, a rap, like I'm just chilling in it. Yeah. And bro, I was just so calm, like 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 my when I would talk to my brethren, like, are you are you calm like bro? Damn. Like this is like a holiday camp, bro. I swear to God. Like, bro, like this is bottlings for the man them. Bro. <laughs> like, but like not not to glorify it. I'm yeah. not glorifying it at all. Don't get twisted. I'm not glorifying it at all in it. But I'm just saying for me, as I visioned it, I thought, oh my god, my life's gonna be mad. Like mm. I'm gonna be fighting every day. And like it, that didn't end up happening for me. Obviously, lucky for me, I didn't have no dramas with people. Cause a lot of men that are in jail, they're barking their ops yeah. in jail, so they have to do what they're gonna do in it. Yeah. I didn't have none of that in jail, so I was calm in it. Like I was just, I was just there, man. Just yeah. literally just there. Like, you know what though? I wanna walk into that first night. That first night when you're you're finally like the, the doors are closed, mm. everything's shut. <laughs> they give you. I don't know if they give you a number. I don't know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, could you walk us through that? Cause that must have been the, the longest night. I'm assuming. It was the longest night, you know why, yeah? Yeah. Alright, cool. So, went caught. Went caught in the morning. Damn. By the time... I heard the morning anxiety is crazy, by the way. What, going caught? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because when you're in jail and you're going caught, they wake you up mad early and you're probably not even being seen till later. But they have to take everyone at the same time, innit? But no, obviously, I've come from... I was on bail, gone caught. Um, I'm expecting just to plea and come back for sentencing. Mm. Like my solicitor, we're hoping to get a suspended sentence, all of this stuff. The, yeah. the jail is not in my mind whatsoever. Damn. Go for the hearing, and then, um, like I said, Ramon in custody, isn't it? Uh. I'm looking at my solicitor like, she's like, I'm like, oh, she literally done that. Like, I'm like, what you, oh my days. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I'm like, what, I'm going now? 
obviously with me, like with me, I, I, things don't hit me straight mm. away, innit? Like, I, don't, I don't process things straight away. So mm. I'm just like, I'm right. I can't bang out. What am mm. I going to do? Jump over the thing and run out? It's just, I'm here, innit? Like, so, yeah. yep, cuffed me, took me around the back. Duh, duh, duh. They take you downstairs, gone downstairs. Like, the, the bare things you got to do, like paperwork and the assess you yeah. and all that. Duh, duh, duh. But I'm just like, I'm not deep in it, innit? But anyway, cool. Obviously, I had a co-defendant as well. He's more shaky than I am. Damn. Like, I'm telling him, like, just calm down, man. Just cool, like... I don't know what we're getting into, but being all in the hysterics ain't going to help the situation. Just, just chill out, innit? Cool, got there, yeah, they give you a number, you go to induction. Um, yeah, they let you make a phone call, I think, there. I'm sure. Can't, yeah, did I make, did I make a phone call when I went in? No, I can't remember, but anyway. Oh, okay. You give your details of all that, blah, blah. Then <sighs> you get to the wing, induction wing. It's um, long. It's a long yeah, process. Yeah, no, it's a process still. You're there for a minute. I think by the time I got into the wing, it was dinner time. Was it dinner time? Well, no, what year was this, by the way, bro? This is 2014. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is end of 2014. So, I've, okay. yeah, so I've gone into the cell now. I swear, this is why, I, this is why it was the longest night, yeah? Yeah. Mm. I fell asleep, yeah? And I promise you, I thought I slept 24 hours. Like, I generally thought, when they opened the door for me, you know, yeah. it was the next day, yeah? I think yeah. I slept a time. Yeah. They're like, yeah, it's dinner. Oh! I, was like, <laughs> I, was, I don't know how I'll do myself at that point. I was like, what? Damn. So I slept for like an hour and a half. I was like, <laughs> a football game. But I thought, I thought it was the whole next day. Jesus. I thought it was the next day. That's why I said to myself, yeah, this is going to be long still. Like, it's in even one day. Damn. And at that point, I'm not even sentenced yet. I don't even know what I'm getting. Like, mm. All of these things, I'm thinking I might even go home. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't know what's going on, innit? Damn. Cool. Anyway, I end up getting um, 30 months or 15 months is what I did. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I just. You just get used to the regime, man. It. Like you just get Even used to it. Even the food as well. You get used to it, man. It's dead. The food's dead. You gonna make of it what you can, isn't it? But okay. You just get used to it, man. It, it, that it starts tasting like Nando's after a while. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you start. You know, like the menus don't change too tough, yeah. yeah. So there's certain things in the menu that you like, so you look forward to it on that Thursday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? that's, oh, that's my, that's my hacker son today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's certain things that, yeah, you just, well, you, you, just get, to. you just get used to. You just, like, the way I looked at it was like, there's nothing I can say or do that's gonna get me out of this. So I've just gotta do this, innit? Like, mm. just take, take what I can from this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even me, for example, I wasn't even too, too academically smart. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got my GCSE C in jail. Nah, I didn't cool. do that. I respect it. Bro. I, like, well, do you well, know what I mean? Well, I didn't even manage to do that. In school, like yeah. I had an opportunity. I said, "Oh, cool, I'll do it here." Like taking all these courses and whatnot. I just thought, like, what can I do to make my time, like, what, to leave here and not feel like I've wasted time. That, that reminds me, actually, I mean? um, not to digress, but actually, D as well. For example, I remember with him, he was saying how he didn't pass his math GCSE, but when he went to jail, when he, I think he was seventeen or something, mm. or yeah, something like that, eighteen. That's when he passed it. Yeah, yeah, same I, thing. And yeah. I, I want to know, yeah, I was gonna ask you actually, uh, would you say that? The man you were before you came into jail and the man you were after, would you say that it was a complete different person? Like in terms of progression? I was, yeah, I was, I, I was Tamer. Like I came out and I started to actually think about things. I was like a bit of a live wire before. Like I, I wouldn't care. Like I'd like. Oh, impulsive. Yeah, yeah. I was very impulsive. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? Very uh, as a, as a kid. So, um, yeah, I came out and I just, cause you meet a lot of people that are not coming out, bro. You meet people that, They've got families and like, I'm there thinking, imagine how the daughter, like imagine how the son. Like, crazy. Like, man, there's man, there's there's kids are being born whilst they're in jail. That's crazy. Or man. they're finding out their parents died that's when man, they're in bro. jail. That was messy. Like, man. and that's one thing that was like I can't ever come. Like my mom, like obviously my mom passed away in 2019. Yeah, oh, so okay. um, yeah. obviously she was ill from when I was in jail, and I used to dread ever ringing my siblings and I get that get told that do you know what I mean that she's passed. So with me when I came out, it was I can't ever go back because imagine if I miss. My yeah. mum's like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, no, and it, yeah. and it's reality for other people. Like, I can't stop. Obviously, if it was gonna happen, it was gonna happen. I can't stop it. But yeah, like, um, that was one of the big things for me. I was just, it's a waste man thing, man. One of my older brothers, yeah. he used to, he was in and out of jail, oh, okay. and he used to say to me, "Jail is for waste man, isn't it?" Mm. But when I was young, I'd be like, ah, you're when right. I was young, I'm thinking, yeah. what do you mean waste man? You can't be a waste man and go to jail. What yeah. do you mean the rugies go? Yeah. Like that sounds dumb me, like naive me saying that. Yeah, after like a month or so, you know when you just clock your, you're on certain characters, yeah. You're thinking, yeah. yeah. What? what do you even do mm, yourself? Like, what? Like, and I rang my brother one time. I said, I don't think you remember this, but when I was like 15, you told me Joe is for waste, man. And he started laughing. I said, bro, Joe is for waste, man. Like, and I, I say that to my nephews, all of everyone, bro. You're not mm. like, 
you're not you're not real or it don't make you real or whatever whatever because oh, yeah because yeah, you've been to anyone bro look at me bro i'm just a normal brother like mm. i walk the street like you wouldn't even know that i've been to jail like I, anyone can go to jail G. like sure. you, you don't make you do you know what i mean like, a lot of people come out and they get worse because they feel like they've got that thing added to their name. I mean, I went, I when I said, I'm, I never want to go back there. Like, yeah. I'm going to do whatever I can not to, innit? That's why, even like, I feel like this is even the first time I'm even speaking on it, on a, like a pod or something. Like, I don't yeah. really, yeah. I keep it away more time, yeah? I feel like I shouldn't, it. but sometimes I like, basically I keep it away so that you look at me in a certain light, innit? Yeah, but no, at the end of the day, it's part of my story, innit? And story, if you listen bro. to my music and whatnot, you're going to kind of get the gist anyway, because I'm going to re- reference certain certain things and that. So, exactly. Um, yeah, but and I like to just show people this side, like mm-hmm. who I am now, because it's like, and like progression, isn't it? Like, you got, yeah, like, you no, got to show where you come fun. from to where you are yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like no one's story is golden. Like, yeah. like, bro, this is gonna be random. You're not gonna yeah. like this because you don't rate John Cena, but like, even with John Cena, that's but, what I don't rate him. <laughs> <laughs> I just he couldn't be my favorite, innit? That's what it is. <laughs> don't kill me, but like, even with John Cena, for example, I remember he was saying like. Before he made it to WWE, he, like after he graduated from college, yeah, he wanted to be a freaking, uh, he wanted to be an actor, he wanted to be a marine, he wanted mm-hmm. to be dead, and nothing was going on for him. But his story, at the end of the day, we can all see where he is now. He's yeah, a movie yeah. star. He's everything. Like he's an amazing guy. But yeah, but I want to ask you one one more thing on Joe as well. Yeah, did you have certain goals? He said, when I get out, I'm gonna make sure I do this, the music thing. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Can you talk? Can you talk on that, bro? Ah, right, cool. So. Before I've gone to Joe, yeah, yeah. Um, few like friends of mine are DJs, innit? They're J Huss's DJs, innit? Oh, okay. YBE, yeah. Shout them out. Um, they've shouted me, because I'm making music these times, I'm quite known in the area for music. Yeah. They've fucked on my music. They're like, yo, can I saw this, yeah? Yeah, bro. Yeah, cool, cool, yeah, cool. Bro, cool. Um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, like, they've said to me, like, yo, we've got a brethren, like, he's about to drop music. He's, like, he's different. Like, he's mm. so different. Like, mm. rare, rare, rare. I'm gonna send you a few of your songs. Who they sending me? J Hoss. Yes. Mm. Yeah, this is all 14. This is before he's even dropped one video or anything. Wow. Yeah? This is before the street. The black box. Before that, I remember I see that, all that the black box in the street. That all happened like with that two weeks before I went to jail. Oh, Do you get? So okay. they're showing me Hoss like for for months before. Yeah. I'm like yo, like he's, like this guy's different. Like to me, obviously, do you remember Timbo? Yeah. Hey, come on. Le, le, so, le, come on. Like, I was like yo, this is Timbo meets Snap Capone. Like, that's what oh, it was. Yeah, that's yeah, what. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's literally. That's when I heard Huss for the cute. first time, yeah. I was like, this is Timbo, Snap Capone, into one. These guys talking so much grease in a. With in Afro- like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, with Lingo, like, it's what? Crazy. I'm thinking, what? Like, this is mad. Like, I couldn't believe it. Then, yeah, like, the street, he came out, the black box, all of that, da 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 da. da. Yeah. Then I've gone, Joe. Cool, whatever. Probably like three months in, I'm hearing Charlie Sloth mm. talking about Jay Huss. I'm thinking, hmm? What's yeah. Charlie Sloth talking about, my man? Ring one, like then what did he play? Answer of no highs. No, nah, this is that's come like, after. Oh, after. Um, uh, if it's not the black, he's finding the booth. No, he's the finding the booth. Yeah, yeah. Oh, finding the booth. Oh yeah. I yeah, rang yeah. one of my boys the next day. I'm like, yo, remember that guy I was telling you a lot about, like Jay Hoss. Like he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That what? Is he doing anything with that? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Mama just dropped a um, find a the finding booth. booth and he's got, got a Westwood and Mall stack and I'm like, what? Oh, yeah, bills. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm like, get me out of this place right now because I'm like. <laughs> This guy just started rapping, like, I got mm. sent his songs before. I'm doing my thing, he's yeah. doing his thing. And he ain't even started doing his thing. Just I'm journey, like, and he's just, you must like, nah, get me out of this place, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it was like a raw. And um, yeah, like, so that was like my motivation. I was writing, like, I went from not writing at all, mm. to I was writing bears and that, like, writing, writing, writing. Oh. Um, also, I, used to do real, I used to do real rap, innit? A lot of people know me for like Afro swing and whatnot, but yeah. I actually used to, I came up as a rapper, like, I've oh, always okay. been a rapper. Mm. Um, it was only like, 018, end of 017 is when I tried the Afro swing and yeah. it kind of worked for me, so I kind of stayed with it. But I'm versatile anyway, so you get what you get, when I, yeah. depending on how I feel. Yeah. But yeah, like, I just thought, yeah, now when I get out of here, I'd love to hear myself on radio. Like, like there's, there's like even like, for example, I was, I was in jail with like Nave Smalls' brethren. Oh, yeah. They're hearing Nave Smalls on, on the radio, like, yeah. and I'm like, I want my people to hear me. Whoever I got in here that's in here, yeah. I want them to hear me on the radio. Like, mm-hmm. bro, I was on the wing with my man, you know? Like, that was like one of the last like, to myself, yeah, radio is one of the main yeah. things I want to do. Just blow up, do this music thing, innit? That's, how, that's what, that's what like, my goal was then. Yeah. And then, yeah, Touch Road. Hunger, was you hungry? Like, I can imagine the hunger. 
Bro, I used to hit the stage. Talk to me about that hunger. G, I come out and everyone from my area is waiting. Everyone from Dagenham is waiting on Saturday. I've done a black box. Um... Yeah, my black box was alright. So I feel yeah, like it's one of, the most under, one of the most underrated black boxes. It's under a different name in it, so I'll oh, send you that. Yeah, bro, yeah. there's so much I was trying to find. I'm like, what can yeah, I not yeah, find? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to rap under, under a different name, innit? Oh, do you want to reveal it or? Nah, 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 nah. nah, 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 nah if you know, you know, innit? Like, okay, okay, yeah. yeah, if you know, you know. But, um, yeah, so I come out. Yeah, I've done my black box. Um, What's the reception like after you've done the black box? No. Yeah, the ends, the ends are missing with it. And then obviously yeah. I had a tune with my boy, with yeah. two of my boys, who thank the plug. Oh, okay. Um, that's like that's like a Dagnum anthem. I'd like to say Please basically, swear. yeah, yeah, yeah. When we done fact the plug, like we brought the whole ends out. Damn. Like more, like more um quads, more bikes, a lot. Like we proper shot a sick video for it. Damn. And then yeah, the ball started rolling from then. What year is this, by the way? This is like oh sixteen. Okay. And then yeah, then yeah, I'm just dropping songs on SoundCloud for like oh seventeen and that. Yeah, SoundCloud days. And then, yeah, then and then oh eight. Then just yeah, like end of 017, yeah. uh sign a management deal. Okay. And that's when I tried Afro Swing in it. Okay, wait, before we even go fully into that, what made you now choose Afro Swing to go with forward? Um, it wasn't even to go with forward. I was just, or just to try. I just wanted to do something different, innit? Oh, okay. like, I just wanted I thought like at the time you were like, what songs were I like? A lot uh, I think maybe your darling? I don't know. What was 017? What was 017? Just like Young Bane. B- Tia Wayne. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the the uh, Kojo fans yeah. is yeah 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 like yeah. Rand Barkin, Bar- yeah all them, of them kind of songs yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's all seventeen yeah yeah so I'm hearing all them kind of songs yeah and I'm like the this, xylophones and yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like this sounds easy like I could I feel like I can do this like mm. and then um yeah like I had I had to fault myself sign the management deal and my managers are like why don't you try for a swing I was like funny enough I was thinking to try it got me a, found me a full swing producer um started working with him. And then, yeah, like, I think Cool On Me was like the second song I ever recorded that was Afro That's Swing. Afro, what was the yeah. first one? I didn't put it out. It was, just, it was just, yeah, it was just like trial and error. Like, Whoa. and then got sent the beat for Cool On Me. Yeah. I wrote Cool On Me. <laughs> yeah, I was a team. Um, but funny enough, like, my management at the time, they were like, oh, yeah, I think you can go hard on the beat, like, right side and else, yeah. Oh, yeah? I'm like, nah, I want to record this. Like, I was like, let me record this. If it's dead, then I'll do it again. But let me try, let me hear, like, see, see what, hear what it sounds like yeah. when it's recorded. Mm. Recorded it and everyone loved it. Like, and yeah. I remember I knew I was onto something when um, I'd snap it. I'd play it on snap, and people were asking me, "Who songs that? What songs that? Send me that. Who's um, that? Like, where can I find that song?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's mine. It's not that." People were like, "Shut up, man. Who songs that?" Oh, they didn't believe <laughs> me. <laughs> 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 no, like, 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 no, bro. Like, come on, man. It's too like, cool. It can't be. You. <laughs> like, it can't be. You. Like, you get me? I was like, bro, it's me. That's when I was like, you know, I might be sitting on something there, you know. And then I'm um, yeah, dropped that. Six days of the release. Robert Bruce, big up Robert Bruce. Yeah. Like, He's from Ends as well, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, 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 big up Robert Bruce, man. We'd love to interview him someday as well. Robert yeah, Bruce, Robert Bruce, Bruce yeah. put, um, he just started on Capital Extra. Yeah. Ran the rhythm. But then, yeah, bro, the song just started doing this thing, and I'm like, like, we can we cut. Like, there'll be, obviously, before he'd let me know, I'm going to play it today. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Got to the point, he wouldn't even tell me no more. He'd just, just play it. Because like, people I, wanted that. Yeah, like, I'll, just get, I'll just get snaps at a random time. I'll get that. Like, a spare snap flooding, yeah. and I'll just open all of them. Radio, 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 radio. Like it's Damn. my song playing right now. Like I'm like, bro, like my mother didn't even tell me. Damn. Like they just become like a thing, and obviously I started just I become a bit of a name in the like nice. surrounding areas of yeah, East and, and whatnot. And even just in terms of music, like because it got playlisted in a few yeah, yeah, years, yeah. like the my um, the R and B one R and B playlist. Yeah, the my the the Afro R&B. swing. Yeah, playlist, the, yeah. The, even Graham and UK rap playlist. As I was well. in the UK rap playlist. Yeah, that one as well. Um, <laughs> Yeah, man. It and was, then kind of one, one radio playlist as well. Sykes Radio, I think. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I didn't <laughs> even know. But I didn't have no research for it. I was like, bro. Yeah, the song, like, yeah, the song was doing all right. It was doing, yeah. it was doing a swing store. Yeah, bro. Like, like any day, what, it got, like, what, to this day, 170k streams on Spotify. Yeah, but back like, then, that that's was... A that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Obviously, now it's... Nice, right. no, but back then, but back then, to have six yeah, 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 streams, yeah, yeah. even, yeah. like, 50k... And that was in, like, three, four months as well, you know? Like, that 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 was quick. Like, man, I appreciate it. Like, but obviously, yeah, man, things just... Things change, though, man. Like, Tell us about that change, man. The the, the people's energy towards Things changed, you. like yeah, like obviously, me and I had four, no, three, mm, no, four managers. Damn. Started off oh, as two. Started off having two. Then we introduced one that was more like of a mentor, mm. and then we introduced one that was kind of like, um, like an A and R in a way, innit? Oh, okay. like, and the and the other two, they were like, just take me studio and they'll do the rest in it, like the uploads and all of that. 
Mm. Um, but I just felt like as an artist, I weren't being heard, innit? Obviously, mm. no no qualms to them. Like, obviously, what happened happened, innit? Like, we all grew up together and it's kind of a bit mad like how it ended up going, innit? But um, I just felt like as an artist, I wasn't being heard. Like, I've been making music and doing all this stuff myself all my life. Yeah. I know what it is I'm trying to do. Like, oh, I yeah. always knew, and just mad as well. Like, you see, like, in this day and age now, how I'm doing content creating, yeah, and people mm. love me for it and yeah, all these yeah, things, yeah. yeah. And even the, even the fact that you see, like, um, the clips that you get of, like, Heady One. And people think, wow, Heady One is so funny. Yeah, or Fredo. Yeah. It's like, this is before these men are doing that, yeah? But yeah. I'm trying to do that. Like, mm. I'm trying to be an artist that shows, shows his personality, personality innit? Like, true. I'm going on live with my brethren and that. And they're like to me, what are you doing on live, man? Get off live, man. Like, 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 and I'm like, oh, cool, okay. Like, or I post something that I think's funny. Like, yo, like, take that down, yeah, man. Yeah, you oh, like, so I'm mm-hmm. just like, raw, like, what do like, I don't know what to do? Like, so now I'm not posting anything unless it's to do with music. Oh, so yeah. you actually like, took that words? Yeah, like I'm, t- I'm listening to the, but I'm thinking to myself like, but it's, this ain't you though. Like, you, like this is part of my my finesse in this thing. Like, mm-hmm. this is what makes the people like me because I relate. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I don't take myself too seriously. Like, I'm, I'm jokey. Like, I'll go on live with a random person and just have bands with them. Like, mm-hmm. but because if you're someone that's from I don't know, I don't know, let's say Birmingham or something that listens to my music yeah. and you have me on socials. You're watching me on live. Can, my man's actually quite funny, you know. He's yeah, actually quite. Da, 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 da. You tap into my story more. It's true. Bro. You know what I mean? Like mm, obviously, it works for different. Like, art, some artists, the whole um, not know the whole not being not knowing not much about them kind of does draw people in. But some other people, they draw it. They draw they, what draws well, them in is yeah. is your personality. It's, it's true. And that's the you know, angle bro. that I wanted to go with, isn't it? I agree. Because I I've always seen myself as an entertainer. Like music is what I was doing, but I always said to myself like. When the music goes off, I'm gonna go into acting. I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna. I always wanted to show my personality in it, and I just mm-hmm. felt like they they didn't see that vision in it. And I feel like now you get a lot of artists showing their personality. I think it's mad important, that's, that's especially it. with TikTok mm-hmm. yeah. and that all these things. Are pushing the artists to show personality. Do you know what like I'm Blanco, saying? That's what Blanco said. Like, and I was trying to do that from early before man like, even doing that. Like I knew, like yo, because I'm like yo. It's like when I post these things, it's my phone that goes off. You don't see the reactions I get mm. to this. You're just seeing the, the thing and thinking, well, why did you post that? Mm. But people are popping up like, that. bro, come on, man. Bro, I'm even, I'm, it's annoying that they didn't see that because I'm sure like you're posting these things, yeah, and you're getting reception from people who didn't even know like that. Oh. They're even looking forward yeah. to like, seeing you yeah. post and yeah, stuff. Yeah, Hundo, like Hundo, like, bro, like my engagement was mad them times and I wasn't even, I didn't even, I ain't even got much followers now, but like the engagement was, was mad. Like, mm. like, like, do you know what I mean? It, I was. Like, I know what I was doing, innit? Like, and they, they, yeah, they just didn't really see see it like that, innit? Like, oh. and, um, yeah, so then, obviously, we ended up releasing Taken 2. Yeah, that was, like, what, five months after Call of Duty? Yeah. yeah. So, I want to know now, what was happening between, like, those five months, what was happening in that gap? Just recording. Oh. And, um, like, I recorded Taken 2 the week before we shot the video for Call of Me. Like, so I, sh- okay. I recorded it in February. That song was done from like Feb. Okay. Like, Call of Me dropped in January. By Feb, that Taken 2 is already done. Like, it's already finished, isn't it? Okay. So, um, but it was just, yeah, picking which song to go with next. We're just recording, recording, trying different things like, mm. you know what I mean? Working with different producers. Damn. So what, what was that process like? Like, because um, I remember on one pod, you was actually talking about how when you go to studio, it was almost like, Things became less organic because, like, your your managers are trying to just get you to go all the time, like, or like they're there at times. And do I see it when it comes to an artist creative process? Everyone's different. Yeah. Some people might like five people, ten man, mm. even five big booty shorties is mm. there. Mm. <laughs> Some people they have to be alone. Like, so with me, it's not even about the being alone thing. I don't, okay. I don't, I don't like. I've always had sessions with the man. I like, I like catching the vibe and da da da. Okay. But when I'm writing, leave me to write. Big man thing. Do you know what I mean? No, like, insane, don't butt in. Like, unless after that, like, let me write what I've written, yeah? Mm. Let me spray it and then we can tweak it. Okay. But if, like, I'm on, like, my third line and you're telling me the second line's midi, I'm overthinking everything else now. Like, now, now I'm just going to be stuck on the first line. Like, mm. like cool, second line was midi, so how are we going to... But then how do I not know the sixth line's midi? Mm. Now I'm like... Yeah. It's don't, just... like, now you've you've messed up the whole... Creative like, process. Yeah, so, like, leave me be in it. Mm. Let me spray it and then we can go over it in it because at least then i know i've got pretty much the whole the bit like the 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 foundation of the the song done in it like oh, okay. so yeah with me yeah like um yeah that that was something that 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 was a bit um become a bit jarring the whole um Damn. yeah like it was just like on me like what did you, you done yet oh, 
I'm must have been mad for straight. Well, I'm trying to do my own creative thing. Are you mad? So now, if I, if I just write something quick and it's a meaty verse, like, who's, you're going to be the one that's upset. I know how I write. I know I've done this exactly. the longest. Like, do you know what I mean? And um, yeah, man, it was just, it's just one of them things, man. But I still, the no song's still got really, yeah, really yeah. done yeah. really well. Done like yeah, 44 yeah. on YouTube, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, do you, know, then, do you know what? That's you, <laughs> you take it too. That's another one as well. That was, hey, that was a, the Albanians are loving that. That, that was that, a strategic. They were lo- the Albanians are loving that. That was a strategic one. Bro. Like, I remember being with one of my boys okay. when I wrote the hook and um, <clears throat> I was like, all, of, all I was going to do was just play on words with the word taken. Mm. That's okay. all I was going to do initially. And then um, I thought of the film, innit? And as I thought yeah. of the film, I thought, oh yeah, setting out Ben, you're in it. I said, oh, <laughs> let me, let me um, mention something. I was like to my brother, I was like, Anyone ever mentioned Albanian girls in a song? He's like, I don't think so. I was like, but they're Leng though. Uh-huh. Like, why does no one ever say I'm with my Albanian girl? Like, or oh. I thought, nah, let me put them in like, let me give it, let me shine some light on them. I watch this. Like, I was like, I guarantee you, if I drop this song, yeah. bare Albanian girls are gonna mess with it. I said, one line in that whole song is one. Oh, it's cool, it's in the hook, it comes yeah, two yeah, times. Yeah. But it's one line, and they love the hook, bro. I was going viral on, on, on um, Albanian TikTok like just like, <laughs> what? last year. Last year, bro. Yeah. It, just Are you last, year, last year, bro. And that came out in 2018. 18. Bro, last year it was that's, going viral, bro. That's listen, crazy. Listen, when I put it the preview on Twitter, bro, I didn't know there was Albanians in Canada, in uh, Switzerland. <laughs> like, yeah. They're all following me, bro. Like, they're, they're like, yo, bro. drop this song. like. You get me? Because I remember looking at the YouTube comments, all I saw was literally Albanian flag, yeah, Albanian yeah, yeah, flag. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. I don't want to have an Albanian girl because I don't want to get kidnapped yeah. by her dad. <laughs> like, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, what? Nah, the, the Albanian girls loved it, but the Albanian men didn't. Didn't love, like it. I got a lot of <laughs> Albanian bridges in it, so oh, bro, I was shit. getting sent hate like through my Insta and that, I'll just screenshot it, send it to my Albanian bridges. They're like, bro. I don't even know if you want me to translate what they've just said. And you know what's so crazy, bro? Because, like, barking is, like, full of a love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, did you ever have anyone, like, confront you? Like, why are you talking about my country like that? Like, just online. Just online. Okay. Just online, like. Nothing like, serious. Yeah, nah. The man, the, the, the man from the ends, like, all that, like, I got bare Albanian bridges, bro. Oh, like, okay. they, they were pushing that, bro. Like, they're going Albania and playing it, bro. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I respect it. So now, you literally went... You went for a back to back Afro swing, choo, choo, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're like that's you showing, yo, man can do the yeah, thing yeah, yeah. kind yeah. of thing. So what? Now you've dropped Call Me, Call On Me. Mm. You've now dropped Taken To. Mm. What's your world like now? Cause you you've proven you proven yourself. Bro. Yeah, no, bro. Like, like I went for a mad like depress depression state, innit? Like oh, okay. towards the end of 2018. Okay. And um because of the whole stuff for my management and that. Mm. Like, oh, that was, so real. That, like, was that it real. took, it got, to, yeah. Took well, a toll on you. Like, differently, because I always say this, yeah, uh, 2018 was my biggest year as an artist, but it was mm. the year I felt least like an artist. Like, I felt like a puppet or something. Like, I was like, I was like, the stresses that you lot are giving me, yeah, that are meant to be on my team, this is what I expect from labels. Mm. Like, you lot are making me feel away, like, about my own creative, Process mm-hmm. the label. I should expect that from the label, not yeah. the man. Mm-hmm. The minute, do you know what I mean? But then again, I was their first ever artist that they managed, didn't it? So Definitely it's all tri- it's all trial and error, like do you know what I mean? So like, there's no bad blood in it to- towards the minute. But this is the- it is the story, in it. Like, mm-hmm. I felt like yeah, I felt um, you feel constricted as a person. Yeah, man. I couldn't. I didn't. I didn't know what I was on eggshells. Like mm-hmm. I'm overthinking what I'm doing in the studio. I don't know what I want to release now. I don't know what I want to post. Like it's all just got too much for me. Like I've just. Like just shut the whole world off. Like literally, yeah. I disappeared. Like I was just gone in it, and um, disappeared. I said no socials. Just I came off socials. Literally, I came off socials. Went back to work. Like, I stopped working when when calling me came out. Oh, okay. I went back to work. I got a new number. I ghosted for like six seven months, bro. Like just off the face of the earth in it. Like mm. it, it, only like my close 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 friends could get get to me in it. Mm. I've made a new snap. Everything like I was just. I just said literally I said, music. Like I said, uh, f- this I'm done with it. Like I don't like no. Like I don't want to do it, innit? What What was the breaking point before we continue? Like, like, cause there must have been one day where just, um, someone was like, "Yo, I bet you do this." You're like, "Fuck this, man, tired, man." Like, he- it was a heap of things, but I think the nail in the coffin was a show that I went to do. I went to do a show at Chelmsford Uni. Oh, okay. Um, I'm something called. I've gone. Oh, yeah, no, it was alright though. I, I, oh no, my best show that I done was um in Leicester. Oh yeah, I really open for DBE. Yeah. Um, Respect but it. What happened? Yeah, so yeah, this show. Gone to the show like, but 
obviously they've not come to the show in it. Oh, okay. la- last minute they've they've dropped out. Yeah, so I've gone with my brothers, whatever. It's not that deep in it. They don't have to come in it. And then um, I've done the show and that. No one's asking me how the show went. No, nothing. They're not. They're not. They're moving a bit weird with me in it. Like, like, yeah, like the, no one's said. I don't, like, no one's asked for videos. No one's nothing. like. No one said nothing not about the how was it. Sh- nothing. Yeah. Jesus. I'm like. Okay. No one said nothing in the group chat for a few days and that. Days. Like I'm like, these are moving weird. Then they're trying to call. Then one of them's trying to call me about something else, yeah. But it's like he's trying to stick it on me for something, and I'm just like, bro, you don't even you don't even spoke to me in a few days. You ain't even asked me how I'm doing. You ain't even asked about the show. Sorry. Like, what? Like, what is this in it? Like, what? Mm. Like, what is going on? Kind of thing in it. And I think I just remember just laying there in bed one time, just thinking like, nah, man, I'm. I'm done. I'm done with it, innit? I'm like, this is dead. Like, if this is what it's gonna be like, and this is at the beginning, mm-hmm. God knows what it's like when when, when I get that when I get that big check. Yeah. Like, but it's obviously it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a silly. I've, I I don't rate that mindset anymore, innit? Like, I should have just, just stuck to my guns and believed in what I was doing, and maybe just like put it across to them a bit more, innit? Because we used to argue a lot. Oh, Do you think you gotta understand? Four men are managing me, bro. That's what so, when you said that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's crazy. That's, that's too many. Mind. Mind. There's I didn't too many opinions, that bro. In the music yeah. industry. Yeah, um, it is. It is. It is. You, like not in terms of management, like you have big teams. Like people have teams of like twenty people. Mm, do you know yeah. what I mean? But everyone has their own roles in that. Like, but in I terms of like intense managing, four is a lot in it. And the fact that they were probably all new. Yeah, they were even. They were all new to this, and we're clashing with opinions all the time. Like all the time, we're just. Do you know what I mean? Like one, like yeah, I could say something. One of them agrees with me. Damn. And then someone, one of them says something else, and he goes, "Actually, no." Nah. And then it's not. That's about four and one, and I'm like, oh, bro, like, days. whatever, man. Like, the majority wins in it, kind yeah. of thing. Like, yeah. Oh. But um, Damn. yeah, man. I thought about everything happens for a reason. I don't. I don't. Nah, really... it, the thing is with that situation, like, you can look back and see maybe where you you went wrong. Yeah. And now, and you just said that now. So like, that's the blessing in the sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay, so now you're at work now. Mm. Okay, so what's your... Right man, I'm at work and these songs are still popping, you know. Damn. Okay, so what are you thinking? Are you thinking, ah, oh, man needs to get back. Man needs to, like, like what are you thinking? I, I'm thinking that, but I'm like, how? Like, what do I do, innit? Do I stick to, to Afro Swing? Do I... Like, because with me, I can hear any kind of beat and I'll just mess with it, innit? So, um, yeah. and at this point, we're, going, we're in 019 now. Yeah. DBE are kind of really killing it. Yeah. And Honcho. No small, so we're on the wave side yeah, of things way, now. Yeah, Afro swings kind of getting pushed back now. Mm, it's, yeah. Everyone's on the wave kind of thing. Yeah. So um, I'm yeah, I'm listening to a lot of wave. I'm writing. I'm always still writing. I was still writing and that. Yeah. But I just wasn't active in it. I went out there and then um, what did I do? Well, you dropped what? Did you write your first tune? What after when I came back? Yeah. Yeah. What was it? Two G's. Yeah. Two G's. Yeah. Two G's. Two G's. That's I can't. Like, I feel that's my favorite. Out everything I've heard. <laughs> 2G's and, and Chains, my favourite. Do you know what? People love 2G's that's and it's my, most, one of my least streamed yeah. songs. <laughs> Bro. But for everyone that's actually heard it, that's their, they, they always say that's their favourite one. It's a vibe. You see me, literally, when I was listening to it, the other, I was listening to it the other day, yeah, I'm just thinking this is something, I'll just be in my, I don't even have a car, bro. I'm about to do my test next month, but like, yeah, this is something I'll just play in my car, yeah, yeah, on yeah. my ones. Because with me, Ray, Ray Rich is my favourite US artist, isn't okay, it? And I get yeah. slight... Really rich feel when I hear that. Bro. Really, yeah. Yeah, because you add you add some melodies and he does this thing where like he will add melodies and just walk on, walk on, and you did that with certain parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like legit. That's a mad. That's a, the way I done that song as well. It's funny still. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've heard. Like, have you ever seen how Tion Wayne records? Yeah. Mm-mm, all the hum, yeah. mumbling, so, not mumbling. Yeah, like yeah. humming basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah so humming. um, I basically did that. By accident, yeah. So, so um, and that was before he mentioned. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. But artists been doing that though. Oh, artists, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, like, okay. Artists have been doing that still. But um, okay. so yeah, I've gone. No, I'm at yard. I'm chilling. These time I was, I used to smoke weed then, so I was mm. smoking. I'm high, whatever. I found the beat, and um, I'm just recording myself, just chat, wasting it. And I don't think if you, I don't know if you remember. Did you watch Love Island like back then? No, no, no. So no, obviously that year, in Love Island. Like everyone's, everyone would say it was it is what it is. Like that's what that was that was the oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. the lingo of that yeah, season, innit? Yeah. Everyone would just say it is what it is. Like it is what it is. That's and I'm watching Love Island, and I'm just keep hearing this. It is what it is. Mm. So come on, just, with, I, told I remember the tone one because it is what it is. Like <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah okay. that's the vibe. That's where I've got the it is what it is from, innit? Bro, and I, and I like that. It's like I get in terms of like the feel. It brought a slight future feel because he has that like. 
I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. I got from that. Yeah, like, yeah. it's what it is. Like, you was like, oh, my boy spent two bags on his errand. It's what it is. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Two, yeah. Two, yeah, two G's on a hip. Yeah. No, I said, um. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I told my niggas it is what it is. It is, what it is. My so darling it came in. My darling came in with two G's on her hip. Um, so Gucci, isn't it? Yeah, Gucci yeah, yeah. bag. Are you taking a mate? Waterfalls wins. Yeah. Yeah. She the kid. She came with a drip. You get me? The song two G's is basically sounds for Gucci and the song's about Gucci. If yeah. you look at the artwork. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, the two G's. Yeah, yeah, the, the golden. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. So now you dropped that now. Yeah. What are you think? Are you thinking? I right, cool. I just stopped that randomly by the way because I just like the song in it. Yeah. Like, like I was saying, the way I wrote that song. Um, I've done the mel- I've done it like that, just saying it is what it is for time. Just going yeah. over and I'm saying it is what it is, it is what it is. Yeah. And then um Con Studio with just the hook. I think I was doing another song, played that beat, I was like, oh let me try patting this. Yeah. And yeah, like uh, the first four lines of the v- first verse, that she came with a drip, she came with a source. I had that written mm. and the rest I just freestyled on the spot. Yes. And I'm not a freestyler. Like I'm not yeah. a fr- I can't I'm not I've never been that guy play a beat and we just right. I can't I'm a writer in it. And it just came out, but obviously now when you listen back, you're gonna understand what I mean there because I'm like, um, oh, what's the bars? Um, I, I wish I could just read your mind right now. So I can get yeah. it before you. <laughs> Basically, well, I, I can't remember the lines now, but okay, yeah. you're gonna clock it when you listen to it now, yeah. yeah? But what I'm saying, I, I start a line, I start with, like the first two words, I repeat that. Like, yeah. That's all. Oh, what's the bars, man? I'm going to so, I've, I've mm. listened to it, like, literally, every tune of yours, I've literally listened to it over okay, God knows how many times. So I'm trying mm. to think, but I won't remember. Mm. Oh, have you heard it as well, yeah? Yeah, but I don't remember, bro. Oh, man. Nah, I can't even lie. That... In the second verse? The, the flow of that. I'm like, damn, boy. I love how it went from... It's like, you know what I like? Not to digress whilst you're looking, but like... Mm. It's like cool. We saw the Afro swing side, yeah. and then boom! Now we got this wavy melodic yeah, side yeah, going yeah. forward. Still, you know. Yeah, like fam, I can't lie. What, are you still trying to find it? Yeah. No, no, I'm so fine. You found yeah. it. So it's when I'm saying, yeah. Um, hang on. Mm. You've even got it in the structure as well. Yeah. So the bit when I'm like, why these niggas? Why these niggas wanna be me? Mm. Girl, them watch me. Girl, them watch me. I'm thinking of what to say. Okay. So I'm like, why these niggas? Why these niggas wanna be me? Oh, I get them watch me. Oh. Girl, them watch me like I'm TV. It's telly I've been. Telly I've been on this long road. Oh, so like, that wasn't even I'm, intentional. No, like, I'm just... I'm thinking of what to say, so I'm repeating the line again. Oh, <laughs> and it just sounded cold. cold, like... But obviously, with me, like, the kind of person I am, when I um do stuff like that, if I... In the moment, for me, I have to think about it to, to make sure I, I fuck with it, so... Yeah. I've come out the booth here. I'm like, what's, like, what's that sounding like to the man? And they're like, yo, that's cool. I'm like, you sure, yeah? yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, you sure? Like, and I'm, I'm in that session, I had, you know, Say So, the rapper. Say So, I've heard of him. The one that done Demon Time. I so I he's Demon one Time. of his managers. He was in the session with me. Oh, okay. And, um, Say So, I've heard of him before. Yeah, you, you, you'll know, you'll definitely know his songs. Um, he was in the session with one of his other peoples and that. Um, and I'm just chilling. I'm just listening back to. You know, you're listening back to the song and that. Yeah, I'm just listening, yeah. and they're looking at me. Yeah, they're like, "You don't even know what you just done on this song, do you?" Like, <laughs> I'm like, "What? Like, what is it called?" Yeah, like I'm just like, you know, what I mean? I'm just like, yeah. My because I didn't write it and I ain't gone over and over and over. I'm, in my head, it's not a banger yet. It's, it's to me, it's only a banger once I've heard it over and over again. And yeah. it's all like I've just done this now. I ain't deep to it. Innit? I'm not really bro. deep in it. These men like to me, bro. You're just chilling like, you, like it was nothing. Like, yeah. they're like, bro, you don't, you don't know what you just done with this song, like. And I was bro. like. Whatever, man. <laughs> but I appreciate it, man. I don't lie, like, like, legit, no cap. The very, very first time I heard this, straight away, I'm just bopping and bopping. Mm. And as I'm closing my eyes, I'm just thinking, I can imagine the music video not even being with you in it. I can imagine, like, it just being animation mm. and then just, just like, cartoon driving. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, when you search on YouTube, oh, someone's listening to you get high or something. Yeah, 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 and it's yeah, like, those two hours yeah, 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 yeah. and a half videos or just yeah, Simpson yeah, 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 That's yeah, what yeah, I can yeah, imagine yeah, yeah. for that. Because it's such a bop, bro. Like, Do you know what, though? I think it's my version, you know, because for the longest, yeah. all my, I got different types of songs, yeah? yeah. Even songs that I released that I play to people. Yeah. And the thing I always get is, I can listen to this when I'm high. Yeah. 
oh, I can listen to this when I'm driving. Mm. Like, that's all I ever get. Like, mm. And I'll come with different vibes all the time, but you yeah. will always say the same thing. Oh, I could just see myself driving to this. Oh, I could just see myself smoking to this. Like, yeah. So I'm like, it must be my voice, maybe. I don't know. Bro. Like, mm. I, don't, I don't know what it's it bro. is. Bro. For me, from what I can remember now, just listening to it, it's definitely your voice. And just where you take it to, just, like you don't yeah. over you. I feel like some rappers they overuse their their the um what's the word? How far their voice can go? Yeah, yeah. Like no, no, some no. people think just because you can do, yeah, yeah. bro. See me, I'm not a singer. Mm. I can't sing, so I'm not gonna force it. I, mm. that, and and I don't like songs to sound overpowered with auto tune. Yeah. Mm. Like always wanting to sound as natural like, as it can, and of course I've got auto tune on it. Yeah. But um. I'm not gonna do the mad high note, so then the auto tune's gonna be sound mad. Like if I use a mad high note, like so I'm mm. always gonna keep it to where I can go, so that when the auto tune is put on it, yeah. it doesn't sound overpowering in it. Like it sounds, it sounds smooth in it. And you know that what? Sense. That that actually takes me back to like the Afro swing kind of wave now, because I, me personally, like you mentioned before, it was kind of the Afro swing is easy, right? I, I I personally feel like Afro swing it had a lot of people. Thinking they could sing and they couldn't yeah, sing. Yeah. No disrespect. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? So, like, even going back to the Afro Swing conversation now, yeah, I want to ask you something. If you could pick two Afro Swing artists from, like, 2015, 2019, mm. to come back today and, and actually, like, just make an impact, hit the scene, like, two separate artists, bring solos, who would those two artists be, bro? Ooh. That are not current. Jay Silver. I'm trying to think. What song did he did he see me now? See me now. How does it go? That one, isn't it? Oh, that yeah. guy was. <laughs> that guy was. He was ahead of his time. Ahead of his time, bro. Bro, yeah, yeah. I, I remember you were talking about. So he had this nice. I think Montclair one jacket, bro. I used to think, what? <laughs> yeah. I only just heard That's him. Cool, um, no cap, just last year. I'm thinking, wait, why did I not know about this guy yeah, like that? Jay I feel like you definitely knew that tune though. That tune was. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I remember, and, and I looked um, at the comments. I think he was one of the first few rappers that actually got a mill. Solid, might have like, been still. Yeah. It might have been. Like Jay so, Silver. Jay I, Silver. I, I ever see him not so long ago at an event and I said to him, bro, come back to the music too, man. And I feel cheeky with me saying it with people. Oh, yeah, because... Because uh, I get it when the time come back. I'm telling him, bro, I'm, I'll come back when you come back. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? But yeah, no. Um, okay, so Jay Silver, we need Jay one more Silver person. Jay Silver and who from that era? 2015, 2019. We got the young Baines, the Kojo funds, that sound. Yeah, nah, bring bring Bane back, man. Bane, yeah. Bane was ahead of his time as well, man. All right, so you're saying young Bane and Jay Silver yeah. come back, yeah. make it, possibly make an impact yeah. after a swing. Well, what about you, David? Who are you thinking? There's one guy here, yeah, but I actually forgot his name, you know. I'll, yeah. I'll say Timbo. Sing, sing it. Oh, ah, Timbo. Timbo. I'll say Timbo, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I also want to mention this guy. That was, uh, I don't know if it's Afro Swing or more Afro Beats. What's that? Oh, how could I forget his name? But in school, yeah. he sang was bangers. He sang a song called Overto the Finger. Oh, what's that guy's name? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's more like Afro Beats or Afro Swing, though. Ah, it was so hard. I know you're talking about as well. I forgot the name though. No, but he's a pop, he's a, some Ghanaian mm-hmm. artist. Like, he's from Ends, but yeah. he's from Ghana, isn't it? But his songs were cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so but you're for picking... me, it'll be probably Timbo and JC, but still, them two. Yeah, okay. Because Timbo, I remember, I remember listening to Timbo, Tim, uh, Timbo for the first time, yeah? Yeah. In school, I was like, yo, this is too different, cold. This is different, cold, Damn. And it's like, the way he was like, even, I think he wasn't even ahead of his time at some point. Cause mm, like, no, of to was... me, he's like, he's, he's, the, the, he's, a, he's, a, he's he like is, the he pioneer is, of Afro Swing fan. Yeah, he is. But yeah, Timbo, Timbo. Timbo, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm with Timbo as well. Timbo, because yeah. that hey le, le, le was not yeah, moved yeah, 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 I used to see the yeah, hey, yeah. hey Well, mate, you <laughs> hey. call me Timbo. It's hey. been a while since I let my thing go. Bro. Hey, listen, man. So, I'm, I'm going to say Timbo. Mm. Young, young Bane went commercial, not commercial, but he went mainstream kind of kind of soon. So, I didn't, I didn't really get enough of a feel for him. But I'm trying to think, if it's not Young Bane. I've got a question after. Oh, yeah. Okay, if it's not Young Bane... You know what I want to say? I want to say the Afro Swing T on that we had back then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool, That's yeah. what I was yeah, saying. Yeah. Not the Afro Swing that you tried to bring back last yeah, year. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Well, it wasn't Who's Who. I don't know what that. There was one tune. I'm like, nah, this is not. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah I mean, yeah, the BPM, yeah, yeah. all of that stuff was a bit. Was, everything was different. But I would say the 2016, no, 2015 T on Wayne. Yeah. The Can't Go Broke T on Wayne. Yeah. And um, who's the other person I said? Timbo. 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 That's yeah. it. What yeah, was the question you were going to say, though? Do you. Like, do you See how you said about being going commercial too quickly. Like, yeah. do you not like what's what's people's beef with commercial? No, there's no beef. I just, I'm just saying like with what I like personally. Mm. I feel like cool. We could have got more of the um, what's that tune like again? Lone Wolf Ben. 
Sorry? Like long move thing. Yeah, yeah. No, but that's not even Afro swing, really. That's just. Oh, more... so you're, you're talking about Afro swing, baby. But so you know like, what? Um... I'm trying to think. But in a way, his, his Afro swing sound kind of was mainstream. It, like, it worked in a way. But there's one tune that he did that was just for us. Should have but... known better? No. What, uh, what song was it? Should have known better. You should have yeah, known better. Yeah, you should have known better. Yeah, uh, yeah. I used to go fuck. I used to go sit from every day and play that. <laughs> like I had like you know you just you can only have like a certain amount of songs when you go on YouTube convert. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, some yeah, of your yeah, songs yeah, are deleted yeah. somehow. <laughs> add eleven songs. That was <laughs> songs, man. Yeah. But no, nah, in terms of like artists going mainstream, I'm not against it, bro, at all. Because if anything, for being it fitted them perfectly. Yeah. Some artists like that, they've got the image and the and like they can do it, innit? Exactly. Take it, take it as far as you can, innit? Yeah, exactly. I see that when people have problems. I've see me, I'll root for any artist. Yeah. As long as it's, you're, you're being true to yourself and this is what the music you want to make. Yeah. Do whatever you want, bro. Right. Like, even like Unknown Tia, yeah, for example, have you heard his new song that he's just dropped? No. no. He's just dropped a song and um, with um, Lancey Foyer yeah? and um, do you know, have you heard of the artist Len? Len. He's like, he's up and coming. No. He's like alternative. He's kind of like, you know, like your Uzi Verts and that oh, kind yeah. of like, one, but, he's, yeah. but he's from London, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He's, um, he's got a song with Unknown Tia on his tape as well that's just dropped in it. They, they both dropped in the same week, yeah? yeah. And I was thinking about it, I was thinking, bro, Unknown Tia's quite quirky, like, in the terms of the way his shades are. Mm. He's yeah. got a distinctive look. Just... Yeah, he like always got the gloves on. He's got like, and he's recently done the fashion thing with LV where he was wearing yeah. clothes that were a bit different, yeah? Exactly. I was like, I feel like he could create a drill alternative lane mm. if he, because that's just me speculating no, over off like of hearing the whole Len, the him, hearing him with Len and hearing him with Lancey Four who are in that world and he fits well with in that world with his music and mm. even the way he dresses. Yeah. No, one, and, no one talks on his name. No so one. it's like, I was thinking like, right, if he was to go and push that, he might want to go in that lane, but are the people going to back him? Like, you know what? That's the thing. Because I've got no problem with, like, see, like Stormzy, yeah? yeah? Stormzy makes all these commercial songs and whatnot. Mm, yeah. And he has said, this is what I always wanted to do. Like, and I relate, I relate to that. Like I said, my, inf- my influences were S Club 7s and that. Yeah. You think, yeah, when I'm rapping and that, I'm not thinking if I blow and get a check that I'm not going to make some soulful... I want to make songs, like, I want to make, like, I've done songwriting, like, the songs that I've written for people, yeah? yeah you wouldn't even think that, yeah, you That's wouldn't cool. even think that. I wrote that. Like, I'm a musical guy, innit? So mm-hmm. if I was to blow up tomorrow and I did, and I turn around and say I want to make a song with Rudimental and blah, blah, and, I'm, and it's mad commercial, yeah. try and know that I wanted to do that. No yeah, one forced me. Yeah, I yeah. wanted to make this song. Yeah. I didn't do it for the bag. Like, of course the bag's going to be nice yeah, if you course. do it, but I wanted to do this. Like, mm. It's not some song the label that to me, yeah, exactly. oh, you've got to make this because you've got to recoup this. It's got, nine times out of ten, it would have been me that, that decided that. You know, you know what? what yeah, I even, feel like, oh, if you, sorry, if you're, if you're a rapper's core fan, you should support the journey, man. Yeah, that's oh, that's no. how I am with this rapper. I don't know if you know who Sam Rex is, for example. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, yeah, him, yeah. he's so versatile. Whatever he does, I'm with it. Yeah, no, he's like, cold still. And when I first heard his music... I've only recently heard him as well. Yeah, what, 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 what songs do you hear? Backpack, I'm back. I'm no, so I think it might be a new one. Love and something. Oh, love and attention. Love and, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's I feel cool. like I've heard some other songs, but that one's the one I've got on my, on my playlist. Yeah, he, like, there's this other tune called Backpack. It goes, how does it go again? Put my backpack on, I'm going if I'm chatting to yoga, I swear it's long. Like, you probably mm, heard it, it's mm, cold. Probably, yeah. Like, he's, he's amazing, man. Like, but what I'm going to actually say, yeah, what mm. you just mentioned now, yeah, I, I feel like that's what brings the difference in terms of someone being an artist and then someone just wanting to just be like a music, rapper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, 90% of the artists that have come up from after lockdown, yeah. from between lockdown and up, to, and up till now, mm. are not artists, bro. Like, mm. a lot of these TikTok youths, and not artists, and you can tell because a lot of them are not here anymore. Mm. They had two songs that done something, mm. they're not here. They just wanted the lifestyle yeah. and looked at, they wanted to be rappers, not artists. Yeah, they mm. wanted like, everything that comes with it. Do, but do not you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because when it's now coming to put the graft in and go studio and do, do and make actual songs, they're struggling, bro. Damn. Like that's why they're not even here anymore. Like they're, they're struggling. There's there's a lot of man that yeah. A lot of men just want to be rappers for the moment and the clout and all that, exactly. and not actually want to be artists. Exactly. Like, like talking to you, I can tell you have a whole love 
relationship with music. Yeah. Like, it's, it's literally a part of your yeah, journey, yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. And, like, for when I say this now, what I think of is, like, the Daves, for example. Even Nines. Yeah. I think Nines... I can tell Nines loves music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he acts like... See, Nines, that's a part of his whole... See, he, he, Nines, acts, I think, he acts like he don't care about yeah. music. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I know he cares about music. Cares with them samples music, from 2014, come on. He knows nah, nah, he like, it's, part, it's part of the gangster image, mm, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he loves he, it because... Like, he definitely loves music. What? Because when I'm when I'm hearing them samples um, from, like, Loyal to the Soil and that, mm. um, from Church Road to Hollywood... I'm like, bro, this is not a normal person. Yeah, yeah, no, he definitely, he definitely loves music. No, <laughs> what? What? But I've got another question, actually, for the... Um, Afro is thing side, mm. yeah. So you mentioned um who did you mention before again? Jay Silver Jay Silver and, um, Is it T Bain? Young Bain. Oh yeah. Young Bain, okay. So now if we were to now try and bring two Afro swing artists again today to make an impact on what's currently happening now in this in, in the industry, who would you pick for two what to actually mean? collab together? Oh okay, what yeah. to make a like a banger? To make a banger too. Yeah. Afro swing artist, yeah? Yeah. Do, do you know what I'm surprised that we, we oh get shoot, your yeah, phone. Yeah, no, you even got a case. You know, I know. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're playing. Um, I'm surprised we ain't had a J Hassan um NSG with them. they did have one like back in the day on like the 15th yeah, day, but that yeah, NSG, yeah. that one NSG sound that, that they have mean. now, like you know what I mean? It was, it was mad aggressive, innit? Yeah, I remember. It was different. It was different. Yeah. I feel like but NSG, Jay Huss, I, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I feel like, yeah, if it was Forget Hater, I think that was the yeah, song. Forget yeah, Forget Hater. Yeah. Mm. I feel like J Huss and NSG and J5, like, how's it not happened? What? Like, how's it not happened? What? <laughs> like, literally, how's it not happened? Like, it's, it's mad true. to me, but yeah, I feel Damn. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I never, bro, that's crazy, because you know what I would have thought with J Huss's album now? I thought it would have been more of that feel good kind of sound and something like that, that kind of collab. Yeah, come. yeah, yeah. But nah, I, I rate what Huss did with this album though. Mm. Like, his features were all, you can tell they were handpicked by him. No, the label had nothing to do with it. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? He's got CB on there, that's his boy. He's got Bills mm. on there, that's his boy. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Obviously, Georgia Smith, you know, he fancies her, so of course. Yeah, <laughs> of course. He's got her on there. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, Burner Boy, like, he's got rid of the Burner Boy, you know, they've got a relationship. Yeah. Popcorn, maybe that's the only one I've never I've seen them, like, I've never heard them together before. They might yeah. have a, do you know what I mean? But, like, yeah, like, it was, um, I feel like with this one, yeah. he wanted to just be himself in it. Yeah, you know what I would say? In the beginning, that's what I got straight away. Like when, like, when I heard him like talking about, oh, yeah, I went to jail, got rushed, da 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 I'm like, yeah, this guy doesn't care. Because most men will not admit that. Yeah, no, of course, bro. That makes that Bro, see, I'm telling you, see, if I got rushed in jail, I would have yeah. said it on the pod right now. Mm. Like, it is what it is, isn't it? It's your mm. reality, isn't it? Yeah. If you're not, if there's people, there's witnesses to it, yeah? Yeah. Even if you don't say it, People are gonna still find out because there's witnesses but, to it, isn't it? No, that's, that's just true. owning it, but no, no, no one's invincible, bro. Exactly, that's, yeah. what I, I mean. that's what I like because that's when it really just broke that J Huss is a human, bro. Yeah, like yeah. even yesterday, you put, oh, no more photos. I'm not saying yes to photos. Yeah, you want a photo? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, this guy's human. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But me personally, I'll be, I'll be so honest, yeah. When I listen to that album, maybe I, did, I need to listen to it again because I was in the gym and I listened to it and mm-hmm. I never do that. But it didn't hit, man, how, like, how I expected it to hit me. What was you expecting? I was expecting. What kind of what we got from um, common sense? No, not common sense. Fifteenth, that like half, not half, but like some of what we got from fifteenth day, which is kind of like the feel good. You know the feel good tune. Like for example, what you done with Burner Boy? Um, dun, 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 dun. What's it called again? Good time. Yeah, yeah, that. And I was expecting more. There was introspection, mm. but it just was not to a like, level where I expected him to to go. Like it was just a bit more like, okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bring something mad. Cool, but it just wasn't like ah. I think yeah, it, was, was, ah. it was. For me, it was. Yeah. It was ah. I, know, like, I love, I love J Hus here, yeah. but as a J Hus fan, I think me listening to it, I had to kind of adjust. Okay, this is the new J Hus. This is him being himself. Yeah. Like rather okay, than, first. I think I had to adjust to it because before. Mm. I had to like, I listened to the first time yeah. and I can't lie, do you know what I said? Yeah. I said, at least you said cool, you said, there's only, there's only four songs in this that I like. Mm-hmm. I'd be so real. Mm-hmm. But then I listened, I said, you know what, yeah, let me listen to it again, but not compare it to the other albums. Because this yeah, is Yeah, no, it's true, you're right. It? It's true, because legit. Like, you got to understand, the last album he dropped. 2019. Was, yeah, and like, he's in a different angle of his life. He's yeah. got a kid oh, now, shit. like, do you know what I mean? So I had to listen to it only, differently. My only critique, I think that, I, I, like, the name and everything goes with it, yeah. Brutal, but one of my brethren, yeah, big up CJ, he had a, um, he had a, like he basically said how he would have done it if he was part of the team, yeah? You see um the phone call that he gets um at the oh, beginning yeah, of, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. He says, yeah, what he would have done is 
from the from the intro, have that phone that keeps ringing, it keeps perhaps certain songs at the end of a song, yeah. phone's still ringing, That's what not, I thought and he's gonna... not and he's not answering it, oh. and then he answers it, and it's crazy. But like, oh, so you know how he, obviously that, that yeah. phone call is the, the it's the devil in it talking yeah. to him in it. Oh, if okay. you're clock like that, of course, but like, that's what <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what that's who's talking to him in it. Yeah, like, no, he's no, like, no, where no, you been no, and that, no. like, yeah. like you know what I mean, like all of that. Like, so it's like a battle with him of trying to not answer this call. Like, okay. or he might have been should have been answering other calls maybe. Like, so you know how we, at the end of the intro, his brethren's like, how, how you feeling? You good? Like, yeah, the, the, yeah. that should have been a call that he did answer, mm. and yeah. the phone still keeps ringing, but he's not answering that call, and then that call mm. gets answered. Like, it's crazy. That I feel like that cool. would have given them more cohesive um, feel. But with me, what I think where they went wrong with this tape, yeah. it's just the track listing. That's yeah, all that's, it a, is. that's amazing. I think the songs are very good. All the songs are very good. But if you just it, literally see the mind, the way the mind works, bro. Especially, mm-hmm. like, especially as an artist, yeah, like yeah. even down to like what, A&R, no, but even like down well. to what you named the song yeah. goes a long way, bro. Like mm. so, the track listing. Just the track listing could have changed the whole way people would have perce- perceived it. Mm. Who told you should not come? Where it was in the thing that should have been in the middle. Mm. I feel like what I would have done is the intro, yeah, intro, and then um, come back with Vils, a second song, yeah, because this is the Bro, comeback. Mm. This is the comeback. Like Are you you're saying, this is the comeback. Yeah? That's what I was. Do you know what I'm saying? Come, come back. You got come back with Vils. Then um, maybe I don't know, like one of the other rappy ones, yeah. Like then you then then you build up to it's crazy, yeah. Mm. You have it's crazy. Then you have cream. Then you have cream, like which is another hard hit. Mm. Mm. Come um come look and then you go off to your alien girls and da, 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 and finish it off on a on a screen. Yeah, no, I would have yeah, I would have yeah, had yeah. I would have had nice body as the last song. Mm. Like it's a nice song to to, to finish off. It's it's chaotic. Like that's mm. giving your whole obviously the way yeah. they still done it was still chaotic. Yeah. Literally and um, beautiful and, and yeah. what's it beautiful and br- beautiful, br- 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 yard. Yeah. Like yeah. it does make sense in the, in the name here. Yeah, but if they just changed the the structure of the track listing, it would have yeah. given it more of that. Brutal and beautiful, like beautiful and brutal. Nah, I can't sense. lie. I, I feel yeah, you, man. You know what? I'll be so honest though. With me, like that's the first time I've ever listened to an album. First time, um, when I'm not doing like a commute or um, mm. just usually what I do, I'm on a commute or I'm just sitting in the dark, bro. That's how I always am. <laughs> but because everyone like Michael, have you heard the the, the house album? Yeah, everyone just hit me. And I'm seeing everyone posting it like like mm-hmm. that, that's his cousin or something. <laughs> I'm like, alright, cool. Let me just listen to it. Like, I kind of I kind of rushed into it. I'll be so honest. But I'm gonna listen to it again now. Cause no, just cause listen to it again, down bro. Now you got me thinking of like, how Mimi breaks down shit as no, well. No, yeah, like. no, wait, no. Pick up Mimi because she yeah. she breaks things down like. Because yeah. we, we was even at the the launch party like oh, yeah. the, the night before, innit? Yeah. And it, it, watching him do these songs live. Bearing in mind, I ain't heard enough some of these songs, innit? Yeah. And he's just doing it live, yeah, like. I'm like, yeah, like this guy's a musician. I'm hearing the beats yeah. and that. I'm not even picking up necessarily everything that he's saying because of the environment. Yeah. But I'm just the way he's like. Rapping so passionately, yeah. I'm like, yeah, no, I see this. Like, this guy loves his music. That's he what like, I like about Huss. therapy, like, and um, because I see on like, I was watching Chucky's podcast and he was talking about how Jay Huss ain't really giving him enough yet. That's one thing as well. Actually, I'd say, yeah. Um, Same. I don't feel like I this think more that needs with the title being Baby, mm. you should have had at least one song about your child. Fast. You know what? That's the only. That's one of the main new things since um. So, so the last album we got yeah, yeah. was just mm. before COVID. Yeah. Yeah. He never had a child. Mm. So tell us what's happened in the last yeah. three years, isn't yeah. it? Like, Walk us through your like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So give us a bit more in it. Tell yeah. me what fatherhood's like. Like you ain't yeah. got. I don't want to know like everything, but like just tell me how you look at life different now that you got a daughter. Yeah. Or I, do you not look at life different that you got a daughter? Like adjust, adjust certain things, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But I feel like obviously a lot of them songs are old, isn't it? A lot of them songs oh, yeah. were made around the conspiracy. Um, Big Con- conspiracy oh, yeah, oh, like two years back. So a lot of them yeah. are very old songs, isn't it? Like, um, I don't, I, yeah, I don't think there's even more than three, four new songs. Damn. All look like the majority of that album was Sis, done what? back then. Do you get so, and and that just shows you how ahead ahead of his time he is because yeah. he done those songs from time, way back, and he can drop that now and you're and it's still and banging. That's what I love. Do you know what I mean? That's that's uh, um classic music, bro. That's, that's what I love. Like Jay Hart has longevity. He will yeah. like, be in this forever and forever time be appreciated. Is. Dave, same thing in my opinion. Yeah. Um, my opinion, even Nines, but Nines obviously he doesn't want to be in the music industry forever, apparently. Mm-hmm. But him, like I believe those kind of people, there when they have a a whole feel for the for the love of music, yeah. it's, they can't die out. Yeah, no, for real, they can't. Man. Like like Dave, for example, I'm sure I, I I'm sure he's written for other people before or something. I'm Probably. Probably no, you never know. Like, what do you what do you think of um Central C's um. Time scale, do you think he's gonna last long? You know what? 
I'm an avid, avid watcher of his manager, Bello, in there. Mm. So uh, the way his mind is and the marketing aspect, I, I think they have a good, good, good run, bro. Honestly, because Central C is just a step, not even a step, steps upon steps ahead, man, yeah. in, in my opinion. Like, like cool, even just beyond just the music, just with how, like, he preserves himself. It's like, yeah, he shows yeah. himself, he doesn't show himself. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He just like, that's what I was saying earlier when I said about it, work, it works different for how exactly. different people. And it's some people, their personality makes people, like, um, buy, into, like, buy, like buy into them more. Exactly. Some people buy into you for the simple fact that we're waiting on the day that we're going to know about you. That's why they stick around, because yeah, they're looking for any little bit about you that they can know, bro, isn't it? That's how I'm really rich, bro. Anytime I see him post on Instagram, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you know that guy's quiet, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, man. But all right, cool. You know what? Yeah, I want to go to the the very last tune that you released, bro. Change. Change. What? Yeah. Twenty twenty, right? Yeah. Bro, and personally, like, but David, you get the same feel, like vulnerability. Like, mm, you really so walked us through your story with that, bro. I can't lie. Like, obviously, we talked about when you were sixteen and everything like mm. that. But then, um, at some point, you mentioned some other deep shit as well, bro. I'm trying to find it now. This shit is annoying me. But, ah, uh, where is it, bro? In fact, I can't find it, but I remember. I remember at some point you was even saying, like... In fact, no. If I say this, I want to ask you, bro. Where was you when you wrote that, bro? If you remember. I think at work, you know. Seriously. Because it was so heartfelt. And it's the feel I got from that song was... I, I feel trapped. I'm thinking of my, my past. Mm-hmm. Where am I That's how I felt at the time. Because... Yeah, of... yeah, no, did I record it in 2020? Oh, yeah, no, I did, I did, yeah. I think I recorded it. Um, cause I think I dropped it on my birthday in November. Oh, okay. I recorded it, like, a few months before. But, um, yeah, I think I just remember being at work, just fed up, and it? It's locked down. Like, we've just gone, like, the, the streets are just recently opened back up and that. Yeah. But, like, everyone's feeling a bit weird, and I'm just thinking back on the last two years and that, yeah. like... Thinking, what am I, what am I doing? Bro, look this, guy don't, peak. this guy don't like you, his You want to bring your... <laughs> just put it behind you. No, I'm just thinking about bare things. I'm just thinking about the past and like where I am now, though, and mm. all these things that have just happened and whatnot. Mm. And, um, yeah, man, I found the beat. And, yeah, like, and, like I've got this thing of the way I write, yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of my hooks come from... They don't, they don't start off as meant to be hooks. They're meant to be, like, the first four bars. Oh, OK. So... The hook, okay. the um, from younger like, when it was make a change, gotta make up for all of this pain. That that was that was just me starting off a verse, mm. oh, and then okay. I got um, midway through, and I thought, actually, that could that'll be, be that could be a chorus, you know. Mm. And then um, I made that the chorus. But yeah, um, where was I? Yeah, I was just in the. I'm quite. I am actually quite vulnerable anyway. Innit? If you catch me at the right time, like I'm, I'm not afraid to, to spill in it. Like I'm yeah. like I will tell my story and yeah. and whatnot and. Yeah, I was just in one of those moods, man. Like, I was just in one of those moods. I can see and, it. Yeah, man. I, I like, can see it in that because you were saying like, feeling trapped. I need to be free. I need to mm, break away mm, from mm, this. Mm. I mean, when you say this, are you talking about work specifically or is it just your thoughts? You want to break away my from... My mind, bro. Like, yeah. it, like, was I still... Yeah. I can't, obviously, I've, I've, I've stopped smoking weed, and I? I smoked yeah. weed in, like, just over two years now. Oh, I respect it. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy. Like, and, um, and them times there... I was just getting high and just get lost in my thoughts. Yeah. Oh my god. Just in lockdown, lockdown, everyone was yeah. just And the battle of like one of the biggest battles I've had, yeah, believe it or not, is the transition of becoming a content creator. Yeah. When people know you for being a musician, like, mm. are they gonna take me seriously? Like are, are people gonna think I fell off? Like, do you know like I'm yeah. I got all these things in my mind, innit? Like I'm like yeah. Do I just pack it all up and just Work. learn a trade and just work like do mm. I just like what do I do in it like I'm just yeah. literally constantly battling with myself of who it is I'm being in it like see like with me as well like I'm the kind of person see that if I'm away from all of this yeah like say like bro once the cameras are off like it's coming by my government like don't even, like yeah. I like being yeah. myself sometimes yeah. in it like I feel mm. like sometimes I want to separate telly from like my real yeah. world yeah. in it do you yeah. know what I mean so it's like um yeah, like I, I, that's a battle that I still kind of fight till this day. Like, yeah. do I do I actually want to do content? Am I an artist? Mm. Am I an A&R? Am I a, like? Nah, do you I know what I mean? Know. Like, what is it in it? And it's like then then, then the same from like, bro, you can be whatever you want in it. Yeah. Be all yeah. of a minute. I have like, those conversations. Be all of a minute. But yeah, like, 
yeah, that change, change is one of my favorite songs on my own. Yeah, I can't. Oh, yeah. I won't touch me, man. But you oh, know yeah. what? Like even with that now, like at some point as well, like you even like mention your mom. That's what I'm like. This is mad, man. Mm-hmm. This is this is real. Like so, was it hard? Like writing like so specific things like your your mom, you feeling trapped, you you know depressed basically. Like no, it's that, not. <laughs> No, because I do it anyway. Like, if you listen to all my songs, yeah, there are certain lines that it's deeper than what I've actually said in it. Word. Like, okay. um, let me think. Like, even like in Call On Me, yeah? A yeah. Feel Good song, yeah? Yeah. In the second verse, I said, um, I'm a bloody smoke in the sky. Baby, don't ask me why you can't save my life. Mm. How I feel inside. Like, it's like that's a deep line. I said like, don't like, don't ask me why I'm smoking. Like, yeah, yeah, I've you got can't my you, issues, bro. you can't stop what's going on. Like you you won't be able to save my life, innit? Don't mm. even ask me what. Like, I, that's a deep line. But it will go over your head. But it will go over your head because ah! of the beat is so feel good. But yeah. that is a deep line. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, feel like I can. I say anything in two. It's real, bro. In take it to. I said something about, um, about signing signing a deal with the devil. Something about, but um, but I said my grace in it basically. Oh, I said, yeah, okay. like, like, no, something like, about dancing with the devil, but um, I saved my grace. But I said my grace in it, like basically, yeah. like, yeah, like I'm deep, like demons in it, like, yeah, yeah, that, I'm real, battling bro. things in it, like, nah, but I'm just disguising it in in thingies, in, like in behind good, feel good beats in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've always quite been like that. And when I used to rap, rap, like when I was, when we leave, I'll show you my black box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was deep. You think? You think? This is that deep. was oh, deep. Oh, Black Books was deep. Like I even got a, there's another song as well that I didn't even end up putting out properly, but it's on my Instagram. But um, oh, okay. that's deep as well. Like I, that's where I feel more comfortable. So it's not really a thing for me to. It's not like to, oh, it's your safe space. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like oh, okay. like I feel more comfortable writing it out, like and and spreading it and just no. giving it to the people. Like no, do you know I, what I mean? Like I, I feel you, man. Because you know what I'm assuming like for you music in general it's just home to you like mm. to connect right on paper that's home because mm. like with us I remember the first time I ever entered here I said Jesus Christ I feel at like home bro <laughs> I swear to God yeah, bro yeah, yeah. I love it I love the conversations I love like I've gotten to know you so much I pick stuff off your brain mm. yeah, yeah, this yeah, one yeah, hour yeah, and a yeah, half yeah. like come on like yeah. but I want to now know it. so that leap of now accepting and then going to content creation now like could you walk us through that because that could that must have been a battle at first all those questions yeah, you're thinking so, to yourself. Um, when did I first do chord? Like, not to cut you off, I remember you was actually saying how like you used to just comment all the time, speak your mind, or like made you think. Or, oh or yeah, no, that, yeah. So yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So in, yeah, so I got there's two routes to, to how it happened because basically, yeah. uh, I went on chord. Chord um, wanted people for a show. Yeah. I thought, let me just apply for it. Innit? Yeah. And message them. You legit signed like, up. Yeah, yeah, like I was like, like the it was like a cast call. Yeah. I have to say a bit about myself. So I just told him my musical background. Da, da, yeah, da, da. yeah. yeah so come down. Da, da, da. Nice. And then started inviting me to more. And then there was a gap where I weren't doing nothing anymore. I weren't doing nothing mm. record. But I'm just living my life. I'm commenting on blogs and yeah. da, 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 da. Like, I had a period of time where I used to comment. First thing that like, come into my mind, come off Instagram, I come back 2K likes on the comment. Damn, like bro. It, all the time, like my boys just be like, bro, like, how do you feel? I'm like, bro, I just say the <laughs> first thing that comes I just say the first thing that comes to my mind, like come back and the, it's pinned and Damn. all these things, like, do you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. yeah, I used to comment a lot on like Beiji Fink. Yeah. And um yeah, obviously where he runs his own page, he's always seeing my comments in it. And yeah. he just got at me one time, innit? He said, like, yo, like, you're funny, like I'd love to bring your comments to real life, innit? Wow. Very, very he said, he's best me. That's how I want to bring your comments to real life. Yeah, yeah, like, like, like he said, like, if he's like, he thought to himself, if this guy can bring his like comments to real life, yeah. like, he's Imagine. He, he can do something in there. Do mm. you know what I mean? Um, yeah, man. And bro, that's big, bro, man. He's like a mentor to me, man. Like, up here, man. like he's doing his thing disgustingly. He's, he's oh, he opened my eyes to a lot. Like, yes. my man, he could ring. I remember when Stormzy dropped um, the Mel Made Me Do It yeah, video, yeah. yeah? This guy's ringing me. He's like, "Are you just seeing Storm's music video?" He goes, "Bro, the way I'm inspired right now." Like, <laughs> <laughs> like he's like, like, "Bro, he's like, literally, I'm at work here. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, bro, like, I'm no, like, like he, he, try, he wants to talk about the whole video. I'm like, bro, I just watched it. I'm at work. So we'll talk yeah. tomorrow or something. Yeah. Like, you get me? But like, he's pumped. He's always ready to work. Always motivated. He motivates me a lot. Like, even wow. when I feel like I'm slacking sometimes, I always think like, I always even just, I'll just call him. Just. Just to talk about anything, because I know somewhere in this convo I'm gonna get a gem in it. Yeah. Like he's like that in it. Like he's a good brother, man. He's, yeah. he's like he's helped me out a he's lot. Stuck. He's helped out a lot of people. Like a yeah. lot of people, 
I don't know people who, who can say a bad word. Yeah, bro, he, he's such an introspective man. Yeah. Mm. And he actually put me onto Young Boy, you know. Him that oh, yeah. in 2019 when he posted Lonely Child, mm. I remember I was just I had my I was having a moment. I'm like, let me check this out. I'm like, eh? <laughs> I cried in the showers that same day, yeah, bro. Word. So I, I thank him always. Yeah. But okay, so now you're in the content creation lane, yeah? Yeah. So now at first I think was was you working with Matrix? I, mean, I was going to say Matrix, Matrix Media. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. that first before Cord that, or after? No, that's after. Okay, so now what, what's that reception like? Because now it's like, okay, you're not just a rapper, bro. You're, see, it's where you're doing content. Oh, yeah, no, people are loving it because people for the longest have always said to me, you should be an entertainer. Like, you mm. could present, you, should, you could do this, you could be a podcaster. You could, like, people always say it to me. Always yeah. say it to me. Like, people that obviously, uh, where I'd like to be, I don't do it as much as now, so I feel like I'm a bit older and a bit more thingy. When I was like younger, I used to snap bears. Like I'll go for my whole day. Like you know, like how you got like um, your PK humbles, yeah, 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 yeah and, yeah, and yeah. your John Wicks. Like do you know how like they they just document Bro, everything. Their private story like, is their like, main. Like, like, like I used to, I used to be like that, yeah. Oh okay. And my phone would just be blank. Off like, all the time, all the time, all the time. And this is before the whole. This is when I'm doing music, and this is before the management situation. I was very carefree in it. Like mm. I know what people like from me. Da, 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 da. Obviously, when after I went through that whole management situation. To this day, it affects the way I post on my yeah. stories. Like Seriously. to this day, I could have a funny video of myself. Like I could record. I could like sit here and have a rant. Yeah, yeah. Say something mad funny. Yeah, I would watch it over and be like, nah. Damn. And they put that's been embedded in my head now. Like I'm trying, I'm working on it. Yeah. But it's embedded in my head. Like these these kind of things here is where now I can actually feel like I can be more exactly myself. Like, it, like and just do you know what I mean? You can, you can, this, you know few what? clips can come from this or whatever, like, yeah. No, you know what, Fez, but I, I used to, like, sometimes, like, certain people, like, all my older that I'm around, I'll, I'll post, they even me, like, I'll just post something just for the sake of it. Like, mm. man, bro, bro, for example, my older bro, like, you're wet, bro, why are you posting that, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But people are coming up to me, like, <laughs> yeah, oh, my yeah, God, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. know what I'm saying? But what was your other question? I feel like I didn't answer your question. You said about um, Matrix me. Yeah, me, yeah, yeah, first you worked with them, Mm. And then cool soldiers. Well. So what I was asking about is the um, the reception now because oh yeah, yo yo yeah yeah now. yeah yeah. So yeah, yeah no yeah people yeah I did answer actually yeah people are just people are messing with it innit? like yeah, telling yeah. me to do more things like oh, okay. To, to... So what's your world like now in your mind? Are you now thinking right? Maybe I can I can do this now. I can because now I see like even for example uh, one of the um, I can't say teams one of your teams groups you're you're associated with what is it grilled called grilleds grilleds yeah yeah, yeah, what, yeah. flashy silla yeah, billy yeah. the goal yeah, yeah. um etc yeah, you know I mean? yeah so CJ. like i want to ask about that how did that even come about so um we i can only talk from from my angle yeah because obviously we all met each other prior okay. um through different Ways like different ways in it. Few yeah. of them have known each other a few uh, for a few years. Like Silla and Kamzo used to have a show on Link Up TV, the hub, um, oh, like the hub. Yeah. Um, so they'd worked with each other. So for that, cool. So for me, I've met Kamzo and Billy at cool. a chord shoot. Yeah, met with them at a chord shoot. Clicked. Da, 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 done a few other shoots together. Clicked. Um, and then Alex, I've met Alex through a mutual friend. And then he turns out he does chord as well. Yeah. I've seen him at a chord shoot, shoot same with Kels. Like, whatever, like, like, at this point, I still ain't met Scylla, I don't think. And then um, we've done a shoot for Made You Think. Okay. And uh, Made You Think's brought Scylla. So then I met Scylla, but then also I'm with Kamzo, and Kamzo and Scylla used to have a show. And, oh, yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. like, we're all and like, just... all, yeah, like, same with my boy Rambo. Like, we're all like, just around each other, innit? Yeah. And Bearing in mind, with the, with the chord like, collective, like the network or whatnot, there's a lot of people in it. Mm. But the eight of us, nine of us, just clicked in it, like, mm. you know, on a different level. You've got to understand, like, man, like, we're all from different bits. Of, like, yeah, I'm from Dagnum, we've got bad from South, South, flipping North. Manchester. Like, yeah, Manchester, mm. Birmingham, yeah. Even, like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, we're all from different um, places, but we just. And the, and the thing that makes us so close is the fact that we don't all agree in it, that we argue about music every day. Jesus like, Christ. If you saw our group chat, bro, it's mad. Like, we <laughs> argue about music every day. Like, if oh, an man. album comes out, like, man in a group chat, say, my man, someone will say his shit in a group chat, the same mm. person will tweet how hard, it's the, how hard <laughs> it is. Bro, I, I want to tell him, like, yo, remember what you said in the group chat, bro? Stick, stick, Damn. Like, we're like, we, yeah, we're, we're proper music heads. That's the main thing that we have in common, in it. we're yeah. music heads. We're just some just good brothers that just yeah man we're just 
Cause I've, I've seen a bit of your trying to do our thing, man. Yeah, because like, I've seen the content, but you guys are outside, yeah, yeah, yeah. people. So like at some point, what possibly there could be a pod if you guys eventually. We don't want to be podcasters. That's the thing. You oh, know? Okay. No, no disrespect. No, all right. <laughs> no, 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 but yeah. we get we get a lot of stick. <laughs> oh, podcasters <laughs> should go to <laughs> drop the mic. <laughs> No, no disrespect to the podcasters because a few of them have had pods and whatnot. But mm. we don't want. That's not what we want our collective to be in it. We no, want to be it. more um, down the more the the beta squad and and oh, segment okay, kind yeah, of see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, not to say we want to be do what they're doing, but I'm saying like, like yeah, yeah, that that entertaining. Yeah, yeah, they don't have pods in it, so that's, that's why I'm using them as an example. But like um. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we've got a lot more that we're doing. So, like, with what we're doing now with the verses stuff, that's just something that we came up with and we're just running with it at the moment so some people get familiar with us. But we've got so many different things that we're oh, okay. doing, innit? Like, we're, we're soon to have a space where we're going to do more, like, yeah, like, but obviously, we're our team, we're, we're music heads, innit? So, mm. we're going to nine times out of ten try and incorporate music somehow of into course. whatever it is. Yeah. It's, it's only, it's inevitable. We're doing, it? Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, no, people people are liking it, man. Even the bro, I can't even lie. Yesterday at Whiskey, yeah. me and my boy were just there. One girl's come up to us like, oh my gosh. Are you using it on TikTok? I'm <laughs> thinking, she's got, you're talking to him. Like, yeah, you're talking to him. And she's like, Grillheads. Like, we're like, raw. raw. Like, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we're like, raw. Like, she's that's like, yeah, cool. like, keep doing your thing and that. Like, I was like, that's cool. I'm just like, bro, about 10 minutes later, I'm like, to my brother, I'm like, bro, I still can't believe that we got spotted on a bit. Like, I get spotted, don't get it twisted. I get yeah. spotted on. But that's love. But but sure on the fact that she's. She spotted it on a grill, like, cause grillers, we ain't, we've just started. We ain't got many exactly. followers like that. Like, we've just, just started, started this it. year. Yeah, yeah. See, like, but the thing is though, we, this has been in the works from like last year. We've oh, been okay. had the group chat. We've been, you know what I mean, always linking up, going to events and yeah. whatnot, whatnot. It was wow. just a matter of time of of when we're gonna like get kick started on shout out yeah lockdown tea as well like, yeah. lockdown. like lockdown's oh, very yeah, big I saw one. his interview with Sam Rex actually yeah yeah I, yeah like, lockdown's doing tigs he just come from um he got invited to Storms' um, yeah, party yeah he's dating like, the guy he's doing his tigs still story. but yeah, yeah man no we're all we're all doing our thing man we're all like literally just yeah man yeah nah but I like it and know. to see where you've come from to now where you're going bro honestly I'm not saying it's just cause the pod camera yeah, yeah. bro is inspirational man no, and, and it keeps it. us well keeps us going bro no, I appreciate swear to God bro you're, cause it's not like oh you're from some next end you're from ends, bro yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah. like but what I wanna ask you where do you see the, the UK scene yeah the rap scene hip hop women call it going to in the next year from now Kind of got Central C doing his thing, Dave Haas. What, what do you see happening next, bro? I don't know, cause see with the UK, yeah, we do this thing of one genre at the time. At a time, yeah, drill's dead now. So what's like, next? We always do one genre at a time, and it's it's weird, cause in, maybe it's cause we're a small country, but I feel like oh God, I always got a long way with my, with my answers. But basically, what I'm trying to say, yeah, is, yeah, into it. Like, what I'm saying is basically. We need to, for the scene to grow, yeah, yeah, I feel like we need to kind of forget about America. Yeah. Because mm. one, Happy said that one, 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 America's massive, isn't it? Yeah. So you can actually have multiple genres at a time that are booming at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Like, and you get me, and everyone's eating, yeah? yeah. Right. Obviously, in the UK, it's small, isn't it? So it's it kind of like not everyone's going to eat the same. Duh, duh, duh. But I say, yeah, when I say don't look at America, you, I feel like you can make a killing and live a Good life, yeah, if your fan base is just Europe. If you That's can just true, conquer yeah, yeah. Europe, yeah. So, like, and Europe, the, Europe, like, the Europeans, yeah, started tapping into our sound when, when from Afro Swing, you know. Because mm. when my, my analytics and that on um, Spotify Spot, and that, yeah, it used to come from, like, Holland, Sweden, like, well, they were, like, the second, third, like, that were listening, innit? Like, oh, they, yeah. and they were listening. And, and young Bane and all these man, they used to t- um, tour Europe all the time. Oh, so I yeah. feel like if if yeah, you can have a fan base that even just stretches to just the majority of Europe, mm. and be in the UK. You know and if talking. I feel like if we're it's like say like we're this is the UK yeah, and we're just blooding it to these lot yeah, yeah, they're gonna pick it up like so this side of of uh, Europe might listen to drill, yeah. but this side of Europe fucks with Afro Swing, this side of Europe nah, with, 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 whatever. But it's all UK. It's all UK. Yeah, no, it's nah. all UK. Like, you can all make money and or you live here and make it, do you nah, know what I mean? Cool. But like, I don't know, I feel like that, it, it's, it sounds good, but I don't know if we can, if we would actually do it because Bro. obviously you got the likes of your young as their uh, DBE, they're big in, mm. in Europe. Central C, big in Europe. Mm. Um, I mean, yeah, Digger D's big Digger in D, Europe. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? There's there's bands that are big in Europe. It, it was, and you know what? Not and they're like, independent as well. Yeah. Like, it's true. Like it's crazy. Like like bro, even the other day I remember one time I was just 
um, scrolling through TikTok, yeah. This is gonna sound very naive, isn't it? Mm. But I just saw this girl, I don't know what tune it was, I think it was, um, this is like two, a year and a half ago, two years ago, so I think she was listening to Young Bane or whatever, and she's from Amsterdam. I'm just thinking, wait, I didn't know people from Holland. Oh, yeah. I didn't know, I, I'm like, what? Bro, I've had, a, I was in Shoreditch, I think it was two years ago. Yeah. I'm with my brethren and this guy, I can't remember, I think it was from Norway or something like that, I can't yeah. remember, yeah. It has come up to me and he's like, do you make music? But I'm thinking my brethren's sent him or something, innit? Because mm. this guy, his English ain't all that, innit? Oh, okay. And I was like, Lay, I used to, like, and he's like, I think I've got your song. What? It's gone up on his Spotify, bro. Yo. Telly taken to you right there. What? I was like, what, Joe, where are you from? He goes, no, I'm here on holiday. He's like, I just Damn. saw you and I thought, this guy what? look... From nowhere, bro. I swear to God. What? I swear to God. Hey. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, a ra- this is a random day in Shoreditch. This guy's on holiday. What? And he's just looked at me. I thought my brother, I was like to my brother, I thought you sent him on some joke, on some joke or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, trying to just, you get me? He's like, no, you like, no. Like, like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, literally, come on some mad accent. Like, 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 you do music, like, I'm like, black yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah, literally, like, I was thinking, oh, this guy's gonna bring up Stormzy or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but no, bro, it was me, G. Like, I couldn't crazy. believe it, bro. Like, I swear down, I couldn't believe it. I was thinking, raw, like, that's mad, like that's, that's crazy. crazy. Man's on holiday, like, and he spotted me. I'm, I'm on, like, on my, yeah, on my, um, especially taken too, because of the whole Albanian thing. It's yeah. very big in, uh, uh, like, in, um, like, like Europe, in it, like in that, in that whole realm. Region. Yeah. Okay. Realm you know what? Region, yeah. Obviously, we're about to finish things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've got a few things to ask you, but before I even go to the music side, I want to ask you, bro. Mm. If you could talk to a fourteen-year-old telly right now, yeah. <laughs> What are you telling him, bro? And can you look in the camera as well as you're saying this, just so you can get a real immersive feel. What am I telling for in your tea? I like her taking time with it because mm. it's real, bro. What am I telling them? Take time. Take mm. time. Like and and yeah, take time. Don't rush and trust and trust your gut. Okay. Is what I'll tell him. Like yeah. Yeah. Cause I, like I say, I was very impulsive. I was very erratic. I used to be like, yeah. I was very like, if something don't go right th- that day, that means nothing's ever gonna go right. Oh, that That's was your mindset. Yeah, I was very like, a bit negative in a way. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm. Um. So yeah, like take time. Like, girls always be there. <laughs> Money <laughs> always be there. Right, right. Like, they come and go. Parties. Do you know what my mum used to say to me? Yeah, when I used yeah. to go to parties when I was like 15, 16, Yeah. Yeah. She'd be like, Why are you? Why do you have to be at every party? I'm like, oh, mum, like it's like. Just a, like it's I'm young, man. It's so no, like, I'll be like, oh, it's so and so's birthday, innit? Like, mm. so it's gonna be a good party, like da, da, da. And my mom said to me, You ain't even been to the best party of your life yet. Oh. Like that's yet to like Damn. you ain't even experienced it. And do you know like when I'm in certain parties now, yeah, as a grown man, yeah, and they're going mm. off, yeah. I'm like, my mum was right. If I missed out on that party when I was 16, you wanna miss- I didn't know that this was to come. Like I didn't know that these kind of parties were to come. Right. She said to mm. me, like, like yo, you ain't that, even been to the best part of your life yet. Like that's true. That, that's gonna come later. Your best part of your life ain't gonna be the one you went to when you were sixteen. Like, it's you know true. what I mean? But true. as a young me, it's like nah, man, I gotta be there. Like, FOMO, like that yeah, yeah, FOMO, yeah, FOMO. Yeah. It was crazy. Like, but FOMO is why I went whiskey yesterday, man. Yeah. <laughs> Waste of time, bro. <laughs> Waste of time. But yeah, young Telly, I'll tell him. Um, yeah, man, take time. Oh, okay. And trust your gut. And, and one other question I wanna ask you, Zoya. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give to anyone who like wants to get into the industry? Maybe they want to do content creation and you know do some A and R work behind the scenes as well. Like, what would you tell that person? Stay consistent, man. Um, stay consistent. Trust what you're doing. Yeah. Trust the process. Like, you might upload 10, 11 videos and you ain't even got a thousand views on mm. on a single like an individual video, but. Yeah. You don't know the talk one might be the one that changes your life. Like, well, mm. that stick at it. That's one thing I used to kind of like. I'll, I'll drop a few songs. It's not picking out. I oh, forget this man. I'm taking another break. Like where it's like, no, I should have just been hitting them. And I feel like yeah, um, the I've seen it happen. People just stick to the same thing. Don't don't um, right. start a podcast today about films and then because your first few videos ain't gone off. Now you're doing your podcast is now not about films no more. It's mm. about cars. Like you're going to confuse the people and yeah. it just stick to what you're doing Word. and just ride it out, man. Like it's, it's, um, it will, it will take off. Like no, it will cool. take off. No. What else would I say? It's you know, stepping into, um, I like there ain't, no, there ain't no friends in the industry. I'll tell oh, you words. That. Mm. It's, it's real out there. Yeah, bro. Trust me. Don't get twisted. And you understand, I know it from the music industry and then coming into this one yeah i feel like yeah. i thought it might be a bit different but it's i'm still it's still music industry isn't it yeah. but it's like yeah man like 
Not everyone's your friend. Not everyone's your friend. That's what made you think so the other day, actually. I saw him say that. He's like, yo, not everyone's your friend in this music industry, but um, Fecky, he's a real G. Mm. Mm. Like, you're going to find, there'll be certain people that, you know what I mean, like, some hidden gems in the in the thing that that yeah. that will yeah like but a lot a lot of people no nah, they're just yeah, yeah just they, everyone's for themselves man like mm. and and if they some a lot, a lot of people will help you if they it's help, gonna be yeah, help themselves, themselves isn't it yeah so just you just gotta be aware and sometimes you, you might even know that this person's helping me to help themselves but it's helping me anyway so yeah <laughs> so okay. as long as you know in it as long as you know what it is you're doing Damn. like you'll be calm in it yeah man yeah it, it's real but you know before we have you to go we always have to do this we have a hot fire round yeah and so basically you just gotta pick bro, you one, one last question you know? what, what was the question bro bro like obviously we'd like to paint a picture of your future too like oh god damn <laughs> i forgot <laughs> yeah I, I, like, yeah, yeah before the hot fire round paint a picture of where you see yourself in five years isn't it and again look in the camera for five it in, years man, where man, do i see it, myself i can't like, i see myself with a production company in it no. that is see like how this whole building is yeah so obviously, these buildings like to rent things like that. But mm. I want to uh, own a building with all these kind of spaces where mm. I'm involved in the creating and it. Like I've got creators, I've got writers. Wow. That because I'm quite, I'm always my mind's always ticking. Yeah, bro, your mind. So I'm always so I like I get I I, like, I can think of an idea today, yeah, and it might not work for me in it. Mm. It could work for the next one. Yes, yeah, so I could fling it to you like, bro. You know, by the way, like you know. Yeah. On your pod, I think you should talk about that. Yeah. And just leave you with that and go off about my I'll never think about it again, but it was just a thought that came into my mind, innit? So I've always wanted to go into production and um create it. Like yeah, so the next five years I can see myself like literally owning my own production space and having nice. um people that um Oh we're about to end now, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, in the next five years I see myself with a production company nice. with a group of writers, like content creators and just yeah man, just Bro, with your mind and the way you've articulated yourself today, not I'm not even trying to just say it, but mm, mm. I can genuinely see that come into life. No, I appreciate mm. that. Because the way you 100%. break shit down, bro. It, yeah, yeah. Bro. You know, it is a lot of time, yeah, I feel like, I'll think something, yeah, and yeah. I'm like, I could just be chatting shit, though. <laughs> like, nah, but you know, bro, like, you know what? That's what I think. Am I just chatting shit? Like, but now you just do what you do though. When you describe something, you actually justify it. That's how. It, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. That's why I take time for yeah, what, yeah. what I say as well because I I know what I'm gonna say might sound mad, so I need to go around full circle. Yeah, exactly. So you yeah. understand what I'm actually what I said. What I said. Like you show where it derives from. Like trust me, you don't. From what I've heard, you're not you don't chat shit. No, no, I appreciate like, it. If it was just vibe, like people that talk with vibes, <laughs> those people like go away. <laughs> but everything is, is coming from a factual standpoint. It's coming from yeah. a personal standpoint. Yeah. Yeah, but I forgot that question, shit. But, yeah, we've got to end of the hot fire hot round, bro. Fire, Just yeah. pick one of the two options that, that we mentioned. Mm. So, bro, first one, T.O.N. or Millions? T.O.N. Okay. Um, second one, uh, K-Trap or Heady One? I know the answer already. You're not killing me. Yeah. I know, you're not killing me. I can't understand. I can't understand, bro. Heady. Uh, uh, wait, how comes? Because K-Trap is hard. Because he's got more flaws. Got more okay, fairs, fairs, fairs. Give you different fairs. types of moods. I like fairs. K trap for what it gives me. Yeah, I didn't why for that, but I, I like K trap for that. Like, yeah, what, 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 what it says his name. Wait, his name does what it says on the tin kind of thing. Mm. But yeah, Heady can give you different kind of vibes in his song. That, that he's very it's, the versatility is crazy. Yeah. Oh, wait, have you heard No Convo as well? Yeah, of course, man. Bro, come on, banger, like, banger, bro. On, All right, cool. Uh, Graham or Drew? Drew. Oof, what? For real? Yeah, I grew, I grew up, I've grown up, man. I grown up, I, yeah. <laughs> You're not listening unless to... I'm listening to <laughs> old songs. Unless I'm listening to songs that I grew up listening to, Graham is dead, bro. To oh, me, yeah. it? Nah, to me. Wait, who's your favourite gang artist, actually? Griminal or JME or something, right? Griminal, Gets, oh, okay. Chip. Yeah. Skeppy, I used mm. to like Skeppy a bit, but I weren't really too cute. I weren't a big fan of Skeppy like, like everyone else was. Yeah. But yeah, like, yeah, there were more, yeah. Okay, the next one, dude. I'll try to be quick with these ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dig a D or unknown T. Dig a D. All right, cool. Pop, paper, heady one. Heady one. All right, 2017 Young Bane or 2017 Notes? Young Bane. Okay, last one. Afro Swing Tion or Drill Tion? Afro Swing Tion. Oh, yeah. I'll put the same. I'll say the same. Afro Swing, 100%. I don't like this. It's too much now. It's too much. But, bro, it's been good to have you, bro. Seriously, man. man. Pleasure, man. Appreciate having you, man. Anything you want to shout out before we go? Uh, Yeah, shout out to Grillheads. Follow our page, um, Grillheads UK. Come on. Uh, TikTok, Instagram. Follow me. 
It's Telegram on Twitter. Oh, I'm moving mad. It's Tele- Telegram Tele- on Tele- Insta. Yeah. <laughs> Tele online on Twitter. On. Tele again on TikTok. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, same with me. Um, anything, every social media platform, AKSMAN00, AXMAN00. Uh, what else? Yeah, everything, man. AXMAN00. Follow the pod as well, of course. of course. Free of charge pod, everything. Of course, same with me. Literally, FOC underscore Davido, everything. Same yeah. thing. Smooth, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All of the show good love. stuff. You know, show the love. And, man, we got more coming. Come on, G. <laughs> We're kicking you guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kick you guys with this music. Wait, we're on a music journey right now, so Come on, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Bro, Please. again, no, I appreciate good it, man. man. For real, man. That was good, man. Yeah.